Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fantastic day here at St. Clair College. And it is a little bit more fantastic than usual because we have a crowd favorite, a crowd pleaser for sure. We have a Valorant matchup here. Not is it just Valorant. It is the NACE Super Conference that our world-renowned, literally, you know, they played in it the did. Red Bull World Championship Collegiate Clash. But I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself right here. <laughs> and by myself, I mean I am Daniil, also known as Bettis McGee, joined by the one and only... Uh, Theo... Uh known as the Holy Juan. And uh, today, as you said, we have a Valorant matchup. Our Saints taking on Winthrop, a mm -hmm. very, very strong team. So they were victorious in their first week, able to get the victory, looking to keep things rolling here in week two and continue their winning ways. Yeah, I remember last week, I wasn't part of the broadcast, no, but I was in the open gaming lab and I heard a lot of screaming, a lot of <laughs> shouting, a lot of excitement going on. So I'm sure that match was one hell of a match for sure. One that people will be remembering for quite a while. And there's a lot of things to remember about our Valorant team nothing more important to remember than our players for sure and we have a special player coming up here a uh, bit of another crowd favorite the one and only we have Tillo joining us here on the desk and we're going to barrage him with questions <laughs> I know I'm a joke we're not gonna barrage you guys we're just gonna say what's up see how you're feeling and uh how are you feeling how are you doing <laughs> Gonna go out and see how we play. Absolutely. Now, um, before we get a little too into the nitty gritty for Valorant, I want to ask you some more simple questions and a little bit more questions about the team as a whole. I know you've been on the team for a while, hailing from the USA, yeah. <laughs> nonetheless. And how do you feel it's been like kind of adjusting, adapting, and becoming integrated into the part of the team? Like, if there's one thing I know about a Valorant team, it's like it seems really close and really um, family like. So I want to know from your perspective, like, what's that team like? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we have some first years coming in uh, Adam Fair. Jay's truth, and then Chillin got uh, promoted to varsity. But even with the people with last year, like Bratso, Caillou, and then Smiley, Steven, Seth, like all the guys who, who came back, they're some of my closest friends. So there is definitely a uh, close bonds between us. Absolutely. And I think uh, I want to know from your perspective, how important and how integral are those bonds? In fact, maybe they're even detrimental when you're playing. Like, do they get in the way? Is it like you don't want to step on the toes of your bro so he made a bad play? Like, what's that like? Does it get in the way at all? Yeah, I guess you can say it's a double-edged sword, but I think uh, I think for our situation, it helps a lot. You know, there's a lot of times where a match can get stressful or people can get tilted at each other, but it's nice knowing, like, they care. I know they care. These are my friends. Like, they're trying to win just like me. And so it's also nice in that aspect and also in the aspect of it's good to just laugh sometimes during a match, you know, and have a good time, have fun. Absolutely. And I know you mentioned that we have a couple of first years uh, joining the team. You want to just your first impressions, like when they first walked in and when they said this is your new teammate, like what were you thinking? And are you still thinking that now? You know, first impressions, were they good? Were they bad versus like your, your thoughts now? Yeah, I really didn't know much about them. So I guess first impressions were everything. Um, I think from a people standpoint, let's say talk outside of the server, I think they're cool dudes. I, I hang out with them. I talk with them. You know, they seem normal, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> seem but, normal. Yeah, okay, but um, in game, you know, there's still a lot of games to be played. So let's just see see how they show up. And hopefully this, uh, this can build up some of their experience and even get better. And absolutely. Okay, cool. Perfect. I, I'm very glad to hear that they're not psychotic and not <laughs> weird and creepy guys. Last question from me, um, and I feel like this might be helpful for the fans at home. You know, a lot of Valorant players were tuning in right now, and I'm sure they would love to have some of your insights to those struggling, bronze, silver, gold, you know, languishing in the depths of despair. If you had to give a single piece of advice to really crawl it to more of those prestigious ranks, how would you help them crawl uh, out of there? I think my biggest tip would be to just like focus on either one role or like a specific specific agent for a specific map or maybe even three maps kind of hone it down figure out scenarios and situations that you thrive in try mm -hmm. to put yourself in those as much as possible and then you know see the growth within yourself just play the game just play the game and try to try to learn all right yeah just play the game and obviously just get better uh, more or less that's exactly what you're saying <laughs> yeah, basically so. but thank you for joining us very much thank tristan you, always a pleasure you guys have a good one godspeed and Get back over there, right? We want to get this game <laughs> over with. Come on. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. But um, like we mentioned before, it's going to be an exciting match yep. against Winthrop University nonetheless. And you mentioned before, you know, the team's feeling good. They're feeling confident. And they have every right to be. This team has proved themselves time and time again to be at the top of Collegiate Valorant. And I don't see any reason for them to be slowing down at all. Yeah, absolutely. Tillo, one of our vets has see seen, um, you know, the team go from... Uh, 
one group of players, another group of players. Now there's a new group of players. But every single year, the Saints have been getting better and better. Mm. It's going to be hard to top last year, but they're starting off hot this year. They did get a win. So if they can keep those ways, they already have the culture built into them. If the players can just, you know, listen to the coach and play well together, I think they're in for another great season. Yeah, absolutely. I hope they're in for a good season. And again, we've been playing better and better and better year after year after year. Um, the Valorant team probably has the biggest expectations yeah. to try to surmount. So, honestly, if this team's able to do better than they did last year, then uh, realistically, I don't see the Saints trend dying down anytime soon. It's just going to be up and up and up and up and up. But it is still big, big, big shoes to fill on the Valiant roster. A lot of expectations. They have targets on their back now. They are the team to beat. So, uh, you know, things can get scary, nerve-wracking. But from what Tilla was saying, they seem to be cool-headed, uh, ready to go, and just humble, open to learn. So I think they should be doing pretty good. Yeah, and he said they seem to be getting along well, which is pretty important chemistry in a game like Valorant. Very, very important. You need to be able to trust uh, your teammates and if they're able to do, uh, do so, not get too excited and maybe mm -hmm. go for plays just because they feel like they can get a pick here, pick there. They just are, are able to stay to the structure that they built before the game and able to stick to the roots. I think that's, that's their key to victory here. Especially in a game like Valorant, uh, <laughs> where the players aren't necessarily known for being the most calm and, <laughs> and you know, humble, respectable people. So being at the top level and genuinely having a reason to have an ego like that, but still making sure you're playing disciplined, you're playing with respect, and obviously you're communicating with that level of respect as well, takes a lot of effort, believe it or not. So uh, I'm I'm really excited to see where this team goes this semester. They're a great group of dudes, like Tilla was saying. You know, none of them are weird, no <laughs> freaks on the squad, thankfully. Um, so you always want to see good guys succeed, yeah. and I think we got a group of good guys here. But before we potentially throw it to a break, as we're getting ready to start off game one how do you see this game going for the saints um i mean saints look good in week one winthrop a name that's a uh, pretty pretty well known a strong team so mm -hmm. it won't be easy in this week too but i still expect them to come with the victory i'm gonna say they're gonna win it 2-0 but the maps are gonna be pretty close i i'm inclined to agree with you CEO. you know i was right yesterday <laughs> uh so not yesterday when was that league match last week league match we there was a league match yesterday. Oh, we last cast it last week. Last week. And yeah, I, yeah. All the days were together. <laughs> I was right last time. Okay, that's or it was Rocket League. We did. Anyways, <laughs> I was right last time. I'm inclined to be right again. Uh, I think it's going to be a 2-0. Maybe a little less close than you're thinking. Okay. But, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be seeing you as soon as this game one gets started.
gentlemen i hope you have seat belts affixed to your couches gamer seats whatever you may be seated in because you're gonna need it we're gonna be going 100 percent full speed ahead into this valorant match against winthrop university st Clair college saints are gonna be going at 100 percent speed like i said and so will we theo how are you feeling as we get into this match uh feeling good you know uh taylor field uh, was feeling pretty confident in the interview. I think the rest of the team might be on the same page. So after a, a good start to the season, I think uh, that we're not going to see any signs of the Saints slowing down. Mm -hmm. Slowing down in a game like Valorant in this tight of a competition in the NACE, might I remind you, Super <laughs> Conference. Okay, that Super is not there for decoration. Super Conference. You have to be going at 100% at all times. Slowing down means death. It's like a shark swimming in the water. I don't know if it's true that if they slop, if they stop uh, swimming, they start suffocating. But uh, in uh, any case, it's true here for a Valorant team in a <laughs> Super Conference. And you can see our squad getting underway. Yeah, and our squad today is going to be Chelan, Fair, Instinct, Tello, and uh, Truth going up against Nashi, Moves, Flare, Infiltrator, and Jerk. <laughs> I like that name, especially with the tag before it. Woo Jerk. Woo Jerk. Brings you back to 2010. <laughs> but still, ladies and gentlemen, we're on sunset. And I believe the sun is already setting outside, if it's not it completely set already. It did set. Beautiful. We missed it because we were indoors. But <laughs> at the very least, we're going to be able to watch the sunset in-game. And we might even witness a sunset of one of these teams' perfect win rate here. 100% for the Saints. Maybe Winthrop University. I'd assume also the same since they're playing against each other right now. In any case, one of these teams is losing. And that's going to be a sunset set for their record right now. Yeah. And you could take a look at the compositions. It is a vastly different Saints. Gonna choose not to go for a Sova on Sunset, uh, but the other Winthrop, they will decide to do so. Do so. It's gonna be Omen, Raze, Cypher, Breach, and Deadlock for a side of the Saints. And for a side of Winthrop, it's gonna be Sova, Cypher, Gecko, Neon, and Omen. And with all the control that these compositions allow you to exert on the map, I feel like, especially on a map as tight as Sunset, it's very valuable. I like the deadlock pick here because you're able to really lock down certain sites, literally, not just with smokes and, oh, you don't want to go through here. You can't, <laughs> okay? You cannot cross here. And you look at all those corridors. These are choke points that you're gonna have to take the long way around, buddy, and maybe they have a guy with a gun waiting in the long way around. So, or maybe you wanna expose 
your position and shoot down the gate. It's a risky play one way or the other, but the Saints are afforded that level of control with that pick. On the other hand, Neon might even be able to get into the site before you can get those down with the speed that she offers. But regardless of all of that speculation, five seconds from away from seeing the action take place, and I could not be happier about it. Yeah, the first round, Saints can be on the defensive side. It's going to be with Throw up on the attack there. Looking to push into that A side, and they're going quick with that Neon. It's only the breach here. Tillo on his lonesome on his A side. We'll tell the rest of the team to back him up here. You can see Winthrop taking their time a little bit, not going too quickly onto the side. It gives Saints enough time to recoup, but not a full over rotate as Winthrop hasn't done too much yet on this pistol round. Yeah, but they're still creeping up towards mid site, trying to rotate over to A, but the Saints have fair watching down this sight line. Getting ready to shoot anybody that enters their line of sight. Sees the shoulder of one, takes a shot. They both know that someone is there. Whether or not they still are, they have to speculate. But rotations are being made on the side of Winthrop. Saints holding down the line here, scoping out the area, moving from one side to the other. Catching and calling that B rotation. Saints are dropping a smoke down, getting some rotations made. Keeping two over on A site to catch any stragglers and potentially a fake. Right but there. the Saints... Things are going their way so far. Nobody's entered in. Nobody's been taken down on the side of the Saints with 38 seconds remaining. Winthrop University, they're getting antsy. Yeah, the push coming through from Winthrop. The spike has made its way into this B side fair. Has a good nade here. Let's see if this side's still going down. No, the plant's going to come through from the get go. So it's going to be a free plant for Winthrop. Now Saints have to play the 5 5 retake. Nobody in the side from the side of Winthrop. The Saints are going to walk in here pretty safely. Let's see. They can use their utility to start this defuse. The smoke's going to come through, and here comes the defuse. Defuse. Gonna get halfway through that one and down goes Nashi. The defuse coming through, but Flair finds a couple on the gecko still. The defuse comes through for the Saints, chilling. Finds one Flair. Gonna Ooh. find four though as all of the Saints drop, but they do take the round, so it's a good start for St. Clair College. Yeah, this is one of those confusing rounds where usually it's easy to say, wow, you know, they won the pistol round. They're gonna have the huge economic advantage, but they all died. Yeah. So oh. that's a lot of money still going to Winthrop University and a little bit less money and a little bit of less flexibility going to the side of the Saints. So honestly here, things are still pretty even economically. Absolutely. Round one, while it was definitely not a tie, you can't really have ties. This is as close to a tie as you can get. And Saints coming into this round with, on paper, the advantage, but they're not really feeling it right now. Yeah, you say that, but it's going to be an early pick coming out from Infiltrator onto Fair. That's a nice start for Winthrop University. They have the Gecko ultimate as well. There it is, gonna come out in the second round because four kills on the Gecko, but Tillo gonna find the pick through the wall with the nade, a great nade there from Tillo. Ties it up at one kill apiece. Ainston gonna flank, gonna find moves. The flash comes out from Tillo. They find some shots, they know players in this corner just waiting for the swing. Tillo walking up slowly, will look for the shots, finds one, can he find the second? Just runs out of bullets. Flair takes him down, chilling. Does not find the kill as well. Gonna be able to get out here, does uh -oh. get detained. Nobody's here to help. Chillin' and he's gonna get taken down now, 2v2 on the site. The plant is gonna be coming through just a few seconds, but Saints have rotated relatively early here. Can they find the omen? Spike should be going down just a second. There it is. Now Saints gonna look for the swing. That's a nice stun there. On to Instinct Truth as well. Gonna get knocked down by that one. Let's see if they can find thing on the turn. Do they know that these players are around this corner? The swings come through, the shots come through. Truth, wow. Flair finds one through the wall and takes it. Truth will find a trade though. Does spot out the open up top. Beautiful! Finds the shots. Truth with the 1v2 clutch gives the round to the St. Clair Saints. I can see them on the stage right now. They are kind of Hello. popping off a little bit. It's subtle, but it's not It's not uh, exaggerated. They're excited about that round, and I respect them for it because that was close. That was perfectly executed. It was strategic. It was tactical, and you really can't ask for anything more. The Saints playing at their 100% for sure, and uh, I think it goes to show the level that this team can play at. It's not to be trifled with. Yeah, I mean that was a great clutch from Tooth and the one uh, from Truth and the one v two <laughs> finds the first and then it finds the omen through the smoke, finds the shots as the omen was falling down. Now Saints have a bit of an economical advantage. It's going to be a full save round from the side of Winthrop as they did try and win that last round. They did force a buy, but let's see how Saints decide to place on defense. It's going to be a full on uh -oh. B push. 
from the side of Winthrop as they have five people in this close engagement. Truth gonna throw out some utility. They look to take that one down as Moves does find the pick onto Truth. It's a great start for Winthrop University. But Saints look to find the trade bag. Instant can't find it. Doesn't have a gun as well. So let's be careful here. Infiltrate almost finds a nice shot. The plant's coming down for the side of Winthrop. How do Saints decide to retake this one? Tillo will have so many opponents right in front of him in front of the smoke, but does not find anyone. Does back up, and now Saints have to find the retake. Yeah, Saints with uh, quite the anxious retake incoming, but a little bit of that's going to be alleviated with Fair picking up that nice clean kill on the backside. We're seeing Winthrop University occupying this little market completely. Nade's going to come out to just make it a little bit harder to hold, but they still have a firm grip with Infiltrator sliding through. So you can find it. Yes, fighting one. Going to go down Fair with two double kills. Coming out now with an ace. One after the other, lining them up with a nice amount of headshots sprinkled in. That's going to be a beautiful play coming up from the Saints. Excellently done. And with the defuse getting shared between the two, that's going to be a nice save coming out for the Saints with the defuse coming out. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. Fair with a huge play, finds the opening pick and takes down all of the members of Winthrop University. Now we're finally gonna see a full buy coming out from Winthrop. Saints can't afford the same luxury. They have been dying here and there, even in the rounds they are winning, but they have the Ray Zolt and the Deadlock Code. Those are gonna be crucial, I think, in this next round as Winthrop definitely have to change something up on their offense. They're getting the plant down, but Saints just seem to be retaking 5v5 way too easily. Yeah, with those alts especially, it feels really hard to enter any site comfortably and confidently, but you still have to do it because otherwise they just don't have to use those ults. Oh. But finding one immediately right off the get-go, Jerk is going to go down. Fast lanes going up. It's going to segment Winthrop University from St. Clair College with the Thrash coming out, finding one. Forcing the Saints to retreat for now. Bolt's coming out. C2 oh. lining them up. And Infiltrator's there as well to get the second. It's like some Tom Clancy stuff over here. Those stealth games. But moves with the final kill. 3-1 to one now. Winthrop University showing signs of life. They're clawing back. And now they're back in this game just a little bit. They used the Raze ultimate. Um, but you still have the deadlock one to be worried about. Neon has hers, but it's it's not as uh, scary. It requires a lot of commitment, yeah. risk, and exposure to get the most out of the Neon one. Not that much for deadlocks. Yeah, Flare on the Seco has had two Gecko ultimates already in just four yeah, rounds. Wow. And that ultimate die round on a couple people just instantly yeah. lets them push through and take down all the kills. Now it's going to be the first real full buy of the game. All 10 players have the assault rifles ready to go. The mid door will be shot down by Winthrop as you're gonna play a bit of a default Neon. is in mid, find some shots wow. onto the toes there. Both players taken down to very low HP, but no kills will be found just yet. But Saints know that there's a threat in mid. They're gonna stay put on B and A side, but you can see a couple members moving over to mid. As the peaks come through, Flare gonna get taken down to one HP as well. A couple members, really low HP as the infiltrator HP. on six HP. We'll look to just swing through. And no way! And we'll find the kill. Doesn't get traded out either somehow. So it's gonna be a great start for Winthrop in this round. Yeah, that's that's really beautiful. But Rose taking down one just to get a little bit of revenge. That Neon couldn't have asked for a better situation here. You're definitely not gonna commit for your ultimate this round, but at the very least, you picked up one kill and you can gather some information before you probably go down. Maybe throw up a fast lane, run in, and see if you can count the bodies that are waiting for you on the other side. Or you oh, can still nice play camera. Early, but the camera, yeah, spotting one. That's valuable information for instinct here. Coming around the corner, see if you can find any heads to shoot. Finds oh. one, but that head is going to shoot him before he has a chance to. Flare is going to take down instinct. Infiltrator take down chilling, and Infiltrator's running off site. The bomb is going down. Saints forced to take the initiative and look for the defuse. Tillo slowly going around the corner. No armor to his name. So that's definitely going to make you want to play slower than you already were planning to. Neon's coming from behind, so they're on a timer for now. Using the util, Neon is going for that flank just a little bit more. Will the 6 HP Neon be the most valuable save of all time? Coming through behind Till, gets the kill. Three kills now for this Neon. Maybe one more if Rose is not fully focused. Now 8 HP. It's the battle of the low HP, but Rose is finally going to take down that Neon that was living on such borrowed time, but still found so much value that round. That's a couple rounds in a row now for Winthrop, and Saints can be forced to a save round here. Winthrop really turning it up a notch after losing the first three. Looking to win three in a row here, and their money is looking very, very good. Even for next round, they'll be able to afford some heavy artillery here. Looks like they're going to be going for a bit of an A push this time, as Saints 
are stacking up closer towards that B side. I think Winthrop right going to be able to enter this side with relative mm -hmm. ease, and it's going to be hard for the Saints to really slow them down on this push. He's either using a Neon, the ultimate comes to as well. Infiltrator just going to make so much space with this ultimate, and the side is just going to be completely free for the taking Saints. Don't really have the weapons to fight here. They're going to look for a swing in mid. They do find an opening pick. That's going to be a... A Vandal picked up as well, fair on 5 HP, able to stay alive. Every single health point matters because you can find that one time pressure infiltrator. Actually, it's only a classic is on this flank, does find one, but should get taken down in return. They're gonna take down Chillin, infiltrator gonna take one down as well. Instinct finds a pick infiltrator, picks up a weapon as Truth finds one, and it's a 1v2 scenario now. Winthrop gonna try and get out. They do drop a lot of members on the save round. Truth in the 1v2, does he use the ultimate and try and find the clutch here? He has no idea. The soul was there. Oh, oh what a nice shot from oh, yet again. Truth finds the double kill and yet again finds the 1v2 clutch. The Saints take the 4-2 lead. What is going on? Did they nerf the damage in this game or something? People are surviving with 6 HP, 7 HP, 3 HP, 4 HP. Yeah. What's happening? And it's so important. Saints clutching out such a vital round here. That would have been a huge momentum swing for Winthrop if they were able to take that through. Saints would have lost their save round. But with that 7 HP staying alive, I don't... I, do they actually change damage values? I don't, I've I don't think so. You don't see this. You, don't see you that never often. see this. And for some reason in this game, people are living. Is this Call of Duty? Do they have the last stand for it? I don't. In any case, I'm here for it. And going into this next round, I want to see everybody walking away from the site with one HP. Yeah, you think that's going to happen? Let's see what happens. Fair going to walk all the way up here on this race. Infiltrator finds a pick. Saints, it's a bit of a disaster for them to start this round. Moves going to be able to find the opponent here as Chillin uh -oh. is detained. He's going to be dead as well. It's a great start through the round for Winthrop as it's only Truth left on the flank. No way he can pull off a 1v5 here. There's going to be a wire here. Does shoot that one out, but now they know exactly where this deadlock is. And they're going to take their time to kill him here. No real rush for Winthrop. They have the plant down. See if Truth can find a couple entry picks. There's going to be an ultimate from the Gecko. It's going to find yet another detain. How many has he found this game with that Gecko Flare? Having an amazing game so far as Winthrop get a flawless round right back. I, I really, how is this gecko getting so I many don't, I don't so know. fast, but I don't know. it's had a lot of value. Thrash has been just picking up so many valuable stuns in two in one round there. You really couldn't ask for much more from your valuable pets on the gecko side, but after such an incredibly close round in the previous one, the Saints are now back in a familiar situation where they don't have a lot of money, they don't have a lot of guns, they don't have a lot of resources, they have three alts to work with. So they could turn the tide a little bit. One of them is more of a utility ultimate, but Tillo with his beam could shut down a push oh, if they play it properly shot. fair, getting a nice takedown on Infiltrator, peeking through that site, immediately shutting down that push, taking out your Neon. It's a little bit more difficult to try to breach your way onto his site, right, chilling, swinging. Oh, well. Shoulders are spotted, not sure. Yeah, chilling saw Nasty here in mid, but in any case, the Saints are onto this push, creeping up mid now, reaching the top. They're they split over to A. Shots exchanged. Tillo, 73 HP, using the util. Oh, there's the ultimate. Anymore. Yeah, it's committed, forcing them off. And oh, but oh, no. at the perfect time, missing that headshot. Chillin' taking down one. Moves and Jerk taking down Instinct and Fair, respectively. It's a 2v3 situation now. Flair with the little buddy. He's going to plant it down. And now Chillin' or is going to be fighting for his life as he goes around that corner. Spotting it out, unfortunately, looks the wrong way at the wrong time. It's a 50-50, you can't get them all, but now things are tied up 4-4. Four four. Good round there from Winthrop, even down one member. They're able to sustain through that breach ultimate, and the flash is perfect there from the get-go, able to keep them alive. A lot of money for Winthrop here compared to the Saints. Saints do have a buy. They can't afford the full shields, but when all you need is one bullet to the head, the Vandals are going to be the weapon of choice here for practically the whole lobby. Only Tillo going to be whipping out the Phantom. It's going to be looking like yet another A push coming in here from Winthrop Saints. Have a couple members on that B site, but the Cypher will be crucially on this A site as the Neon's going to just sprint through here. 
Looks around the corner, doesn't find anyone, and gets the opening pick onto Inkstick. Now it's going to be an easy site entry. Moves finds one onto Chill and Tillo finds the trade, but the site is getting taken slowly by Winthrop University. They're going to be looking to get the plant down as soon as possible. Let's see how Saints site by the retake. Tillo going to drop right in front of an enemy. Can he find anything with that stun? He does get stunned out. There's Fair with the ultimate. Finds one 3 3 situation now. Tillo looks to his right, finds one. There's going to be one more around this corner. The flash comes through, doesn't find too much. The Ray's looking for the shots. Flair wow. finds that one. Truth falls down as well as Flair and Jerk in a 2v3 scenario. Gun them down and take the round. First time in this game here. We're seeing Winthrop University overtaking the Saints in the scoreline. Four to five here. We are on round 10 and the Saints are looking desperate for cash. All Sheriffs, one Stinger. And with 15 seconds until this round gets started, I hope the Saints are using this time valuably to figure out how they want to play this one exactly. Still rocking that deadlock ult. I think this is the same one we saw from the start of the game. It yep. has been completely unused, with, which fair enough, right? You don't want to waste it. But I feel like if you used it before, you probably could have been able to use it again. You right use it. So want to see that get some value, especially since we're almost reaching the second half of the round. Maybe you just want to save and try to use it for the last. But in any case, we're seeing yet another flash yeah, cool. Speaking of ultimate usage, uh, we're seeing them oh. on to A, but Truth finding one. Oh. taking down Truth, getting that trade, rotating back over to A site that they've already successfully taken over. I didn't even really notice there. Bomb is going down, and now Instinct, standing bravely, taking down the Bomb Planter there. Oh, he's done. Smoke down, a lot of drones coming up. They're just shooting him through the smoke. <laughs> they know exactly where he is. But things are getting committed. Sova Alt just trying to pick off the safe oh. before they even have a chance to make it through. Nasty's going to be able to take down Fair before they even have a chance to make it over to the A site. And it's a familiar situation where it's just Chillin' and Tillo making their way over to A site now. Smokes go down. Tillo finding one on top of the box. Oh. Two now in that doorway. Thrash coming out. Not going to oh, no. down. Chillin' is out of commission, but swing around the corner. Not going to be able to save Chillin's life, but maybe able to save his and maybe the round. But unfortunately, movement just a little too fast. Infiltrator is going to take him down and take this round once again. 6 to 4, Winthrop University running away with this game right now. I've never seen a Gecko get so much value with that ultimate Infiltrator and Flare combining for 30 kills in just 10 rounds here, completely putting the teams on their shoulders as Winthrop have their star players perform in here. Saints gonna have to find a way to shut them down and this round's gonna be a crucial one. If they can win this one, they could maybe tie it up at 6, but if Winthrop takes this one, this half would more than likely be an 8-4 half on the attack for Winthrop. So Saints, they're going to look to lock and you can see they're overstacking this A site, but finally Winthrop won't decide to go to that one this time. They're going to go up mid and probably towards the B site from the look of things. Yeah, and uh, looking to B site now is probably really good for Winthrop considering we only have Instinct over there. Keep in mind though, Instinct is a very deadly Valorant player finding already his doppelganger on moves over on Winthrop University, but as Instinct is holding down the sight line, inside with smoke, going around the corner, almost finding the Neon, finally taking down Infiltrator, now sitting here by himself. Taylo going around through, finding that shot through the smoke, Jerk teleporting away just in the nick of time. Swag is planted, but the Saints are going to have free reign to defuse, spraying through the smoke, trying to get that defuser taken down, oh, but I with see. the nades, the shot's coming out, keeping him completely planted in that one spot. Jerk was not going to go anywhere. Saints taking one round back, and here we are. I believe we're uh, we are now on the last round of the half. Yeah, last, last round, round of, the of the half. Both teams going to be able to afford a full buy from the look of things. Actually, Truth and Instinct can be a bit short on the funds there, so it's going to be Winthrop with the advantage. But Saints do have three ultimates. That deadlock ultimate, as you said, still hasn't been used. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have that Cypher ultimate and the Breach ultimate. It's really good for retake. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the Saints maybe even give the side and then maybe try and play the retake with the breach but mm -hmm. we'll have to see how they decide to play they have three members on a one mid one b and Winthrop looking to take the 7-5 half here. Instinct running for his life. He got spotted. Oh, oh nice Truth thing. with holding down that angle that Instinct was retreating to. Thought he was alone there, but had backup waiting to get that shot lined up. Winthrop University, a stopgap put in their push. Now Tillo waiting patiently in mid. Drone coming up from Nasi. Trying to spot out anything that could provide value information. I think he spotted out a camera there. Not quite sure, but with that deadlock barrier down <laughs> and another util coming out, Winthrop is forced to play very slow. Rotation coming through to the backside. They're getting the spike over to A site. Nas is able to take down Instinct in the meantime. And we're seeing Truth holding down this market angle still. Tillo also slowly creeping around the back of the site. 
They are alone on B. Rotations coming back from A, back to B now. I guess they thought it was a little too dangerous. Chillin' maybe letting off some warning shots, and everybody's playing really patiently now. Yeah, the ult is there for the breach as soon as he hears that ultimate being, no, the spike being put down. We might see the shots come through. There's a pick. Fair finds one. Truth gonna throw out oh, that deadlock perfect. ultimate. See what happens there. The breach was gonna come through, but there's one already pushing up onto Tello. Nashi does get taken down by Fair. Here comes Fair with the ultimate. Truth gonna find Woo! one and two kills for Fair, including one on himself. <laughs> That's gonna be the first half tied up at six apiece. A good round from both sides, but no real uh, winner after the first 12 rounds. You know what? I'm a believer and holding on to that deadlock alt now, seeing that perfectly timed through the smoke, knowing exactly where he was gonna be, taking down the little bomb planter guy running in there, and then just spraying that ultimate out there, finding one, really, really, really was the death nail in that push. They had no chance after that one. And of course, the follow-up play from the Saints to really cement the victory here. Now, hey, I don't know for sure. I really couldn't tell you whether or not this map is attacker or defender sided, but, Looking at the fact that it's dead even, I now especially <laughs> couldn't tell you. But hopefully it's attacker sided because now the Saints would be on able to run on a tear. But now switching onto the other side now, Saints playing on the offensive and they're getting things started off with a slow push to A with their spike planter sitting in mid. Yeah, it's going to be a default type of push. They're just waiting for Winthrop to maybe over push here on A. And you can see Winthrop all leaving A oh as they God. think Saints are going B. And now Saints should just be able to walk into this A side relatively free if they can just t uh, go just quickly, late, not take too much time. Tillo, though, is going to be looking up mid here. You can see finally Winthrop yet again going to rotate all the way back to A. But they haven't ma made too many overcommits. Saints haven't really made any noise on the map. So Winthrop are kind of in the dark. As Saints, it looks like finally going to choose to go up mid here. Leaving one over on A to maybe even cause some more confusion. They still haven't been spotted out mid. I don't think Infiltrator sitting in the dark literally right now. Um, so now, now we're hearing some noise, confirmations of the Saints' positions. They know that they are mid. At the very least, rotation is coming right back over to A. A couple of stragglers, one and two still over on B. But we have the Neon sitting mid and we already know how fast she can be if she needs to now seeing that smoke going down on a sectioning left. off another angle saints are going to fully commit onto the site now getting ready for the plan he's going in but nasa finding a one tap one kill onto fair instinct and chillin getting some trades back tillo going for the spike plant now and instinct holding down this angle getting shot through or uh, infiltrator getting shot through the smokes here oh and nice. chillin with a nice spray down on infiltrator we're seeing two more coming onto the a site but it's a little too late but maybe not yeah. moves finds one but Truth puts him down. Instinct going down next. It's a 1v2 situation. Oh, nice. And with the Util slowing him down, not going to go anywhere. Finding a shot, but it's not going to get the kill. Tillo taking him down. 7 to 6 now. Saints bringing things back. Great round from the Saints. They usually struggle on the pistol rounds. They've won both True. of them this uh, map. So and definitely a good turnaround for them. You can see Fair is going to be buying that Guardian. Doing a great job on that raise. Finding all the important picks as Saints now need to run away with this. You can see they're not buying too much with this victory. A couple of ghosts still in the inventory. I wonder if they're going to be buying up any any automatic weapons. A bulldog comes to for chill and an Ares coming through for Tillo. We can see Instinct and F Truth both going to hold on to the ghost. You know, I'm going to challenge the statement that the Saints are bad at pistol routes because this is this is basically an entirely new roster. Tillo and Instinct basically the only one second yeah. die from last year, but still coming through, we're spraying it down completely, mowing down the opposition, finding one. Jerk is gonna take down Fair, chilling. He's gonna find Jerk in response, holding down this angle still, but they're gonna back off now as they recognize it's probably not a good play. They know the numbers over there, not in their favor. Nice but what is stick. in their favor is Instinct finding the one tap onto Moobs, and that's gonna be the ticket for the Saints to immediately make their push over to B. They recognize now for sure it's completely empty as they have made their way onto the site, and that's gonna be Tillo sprinting his way over to B to get that spike planted. Winthrop University doing the same in kind. They're sending over their Sova. Nasi trying to find something here with that Sheriff, and uh, we've seen him do a lot of deadly scary things in the past, so hopefully he can do the same here for Winthrop University. The Saints don't want that to happen, of course, going right back into that marketplace. Nasty looking for some heads. Right here. Holding on the stairs. Flare coming up as well. 
getting ready potentially for that defuse as Nasty pushes up. Little Buddy, hey, this is our, they're able to hold it down, but Instinct finding Nasty with the defuse coming through from the Little Buddy. Do they know? They find him, take him down, leaving the rest of the job to Gecko himself, forcing him off the site. They find that wall bang headshot, chilling, doing such a nice classic job. Perfect play. Saints taking this up 8 to 6. Great round from the Saints. It looked a little bit shaky, but after they were able to kill that Gecko. Buddy, they do find the round and go up 8-6. They can play for the bonus here, which they 100% will. They have a lot of money in the bank. They had a couple members save money, so it's a big round here. Saints won the first three rounds of the first half and on this attack have looked very, very good. Looks like they will go towards this A site here, but Winthrop already with a three-man defense, so should be fireworks here to start the round. Yeah, and as the Saints stack up on A, we're seeing a little bit of a similar situation from that first pistol round, except the numbers are switched. They have a majority of their men over in mid-site, two straggling on that A corridor. Infiltrator standing comfortably behind them, and now they have information of exactly where the Saints are coming out of that corridor. They're going to be ready for that a. swing, going to be completely unchallenged. Infiltrator is going to take down Tillo. That A push is now dead in the water. Spike is also down in that A corridor. The Saints are fragmented, lost, confused, scared, hungry, and tired. You really don't want to look at their deep off sack right now. It is terrible, but they still have to find a way to keep on fighting here as we're seeing Truth inching towards ever closer to the spike. There's challengers waiting for you around the corner. Smoke is up just to obscure you a little bit longer, but it's gonna dissipate eventually, and that time is now. You gotta wait for Raze. Put back up, waiting for the teammate on the backside. The smoke's coming up, slowed, jerk. Forced to sit still, doesn't want to air, but oh! that switches his gun. The last possible second, the Saints blitz in, take the spike, get some kills, run out, take the spike over to A, go for the plant. Now they know exactly where moves is as well. It's going to be quite a difficult play, and not a play at all, as Fair waiting on that box, taking him down. 9-6 to six now, Saints are showing a lot of dominance, and maybe this is a tactic after all. It looks like that is the case here. I mean, Fair with a beautiful flank that got all the way into his spawn, found the one, found the second to finish off the round. Great slow play from the Saints here. They completely get in the heads of Winthrop University. Now it's going to be a save round for Winthrop Saints. Definitely going to want to take this round to continue their lead here. And looks like they will be going for a B push. Winthrop have to find some early challenges because if it gets to this late 5v5 shootout type of a scenario, I think Saints definitely have the upper hand. Yeah, and as the Saints are maybe recognizing that, they still keep playing slow, leaving one mid to cause some confusion, distraction, truth, coming around the corner, almost getting a beautiful three-man lineup, but recognizing that the opportunity is long gone, not going to push their luck, and retreating immediately. And look at the map. This is quite the sight to behold. Winthrop correctly making the B call, but Saints correctly making the correct call on the B call, and now they're going to slowly go over to A, but I wouldn't be surprised if they slowly went back to B afterwards, because they're going slow. They know Winthrop wouldn't be if they're retaliating. They obviously know that B is clear, so maybe the Saints are going to slowly go back to B, but right now, all they're doing is making sure they're sticking together, not getting split up too much, because that is how Doom is spelt for them. And as you see, Winthrop fragmented, right leaving there. two on B, three on A, Saints fully committing over to this A site, leaving just Instinct in the mid to spot out any rotations, but as they come around this corner slowly, they're going to be able to see somebody eventually. Infiltrator, 20 HP remaining, <laughs> spraying down with the satchel charge. Can you find him? Oh, <laughs> in the skies! And this is reverse duck hunt right there, and Nasty taking down Fair Truth, taking down moves, and the Saints have found their way onto the site with the spike in hand, but they're not comfortable to plant just yet. They want to make some more room, chilling now planting it down the wall is a flare jailed you're not going anywhere buddy instinct slowly coming around that corner they were seeing the opposite side jerk on that omen waiting in that other smoke cloud for it, for it to dissipate before you can try to make a little bit more of a confident play. Flare now with the flashbang coming up around the corner. It's going to spot chilling. One another enemy smoke remaining. coming up, but Truth takes down Jerk as he tries to make a rotation. Flare taking down Instinct as he makes his way into the site. Slowly but surely, willing down one by one, but it's not going to happen. Truth with the triple kill taking down the Gecko to make Saints 10 to 6 here, not letting Winthrop get a single round so far. Yeah, four rounds in a row here for the Saints in the second half, uh, being very, very Close dominant on this attack and looking to keep uh, things going here. They, ha they have the full buy uh, against the full buy of uh, Winthrop, and uh, they've been able to take these sites with 
very, very much ease. They have four ultimates here. I wouldn't be surprised if Saints just look to bomb rush a site here and use their advantages in the ultimate department and just take this B site as soon as possible. Let's see how they decide to do it. Fair is just gonna ult and sprint straight into here. That Cypher gets caught by the stun. Does Fair have any idea there's a Cypher around this corner? Yes, Swats Mount finds the big <laughs> infiltrator. Does pick up one, though. Fares only to the spawn. Picks up a whoa, second, picks up a third. Wow. Does go down to the Silva ultimate. Okay. But the plan's gonna come down for Taylor Saints. 3v2 scenario. Let's see how they decide to play this one. It's gonna be Winthrop splitting up. One's gonna be on the flank, one's gonna be coming in from main. The swings come through. Nashi. It's up very far, the drone comes through, does spot out the breach, can he find the shots though, Tillo, nice shots there, now 3v1, it's gonna be a kill him to Jerk, Saints gonna take the 11-6 lead as they look very good in this game one. I really feel like that was the definition of locked in there, seeing Fair just completely in the line of fire, you see a guy sliding in, you yeah. see the laser charging up in your face, and you're still spray tracking, that is commitment my friend, yeah. that is why you are on this team valuable member, proving it for sure, nobody doubting it. In fact, the newest members are top scoring right now, fair and truth, 21 and 16 respectively, yeah. leaving the veterans a little bit in the dust as we get into this next round, potentially the final before the final round. And Saints, if they win this one, they will be looking at a sweet, sweet victory, cruising it to victory lane, but Winthrop University with all their ultimates, except on the Silva, which used one last round, Saints are looking in a situ similar situation, all the ultimates except for Ray which was used in the last round. So alt economy looking a little unstable here. Maybe you want to start trying to cash out or hold on to it nice and firm, but you got to look to do something smart. And <laughs> I wish I could tell you what that was. Right now, the states are just slowly pushing over into the B site. Teleportation coming out onto the A, faking it out, just coming right back to the team. Causes more confusion. Sash coming out. Gonna have Ray's fair dashing in, seeing if he can find any Oh, what a shot. Through the smoke. Not I don't even think you saw him. They're just going for the spray find the headshot and now the saints are comfortable spike planted all the utils in place nasty finding fair nice comfortable kill was flashed up tillo's gonna be able to take down that sova as he tried to make his way off to the site thrash is gonna come through not gonna find anybody this is a rare mistake coming out from the gecko oh. tillo able to take infiltrator as he was dashing around the site flare is gonna take down tillo as your response moves forced to take down this gate but still you have to shoot it so many times for it to go through look at little buddy going for the defuse Truth spraying it down. Sorry, little buddy, you're out of the game for now. Spike is taking ever closer to that detonation point, the point of no return, and another nade coming out, forcing them back potentially. Moves trying to find anything, but Insync's gonna take him down. The deep oh, they got so it. close. Insync's gonna find him, take him down before it's able to get too far, and the spike is gonna detonate, taking out Truth, but just before it took down one more, we're gonna get taken safely into the next round. Saints on the last point of the round. Winthrop University have not found a single one one in this new half and I guess again backside backside Saints doing a great job on this attack four ultimates or three ultimates each expanded that last round but Saints way would come out on top as Winthrop almost found the ninja defuse through the smokes there but Saints now put themselves on map point they have the full buy Winthrop have the weapons they don't have uh, the full armor so let's see how Saints decide, decide to play this one they're gonna default it leaving the spike even in spawn and they're just gonna wait for Winthrop to make some sort of mistake it's gonna be something very early on here Eastink finds one is able to get out alive and when your cypher is getting the first pick of the round it's gonna be a good round to say the least let's see how Saints side attack this one there's gonna be a cypher coming out so they're gonna know exactly where everything Everyone from Winthrop University is still not picking up that spike, however, now we'll get it up as it looks like it's going to be an A defense commitment from Winthrop, but Saints might be moving that spike over to B. Yeah, chilling with the spike on that back line, making his way over to B site. Nobody there but the Cypher on the other team. Moves taking down Instinct, the Doppelganger once again. Oh! Coming to moves with a perfect lineup, finding three, one after the other. Teleportation coming through, chilling now on the site. Oh, he has no idea there's Cypher here. I don't know. Oh, but now he does as moves turned around at the exact same time Chillin did. There's a little bit of a, one of those like pipe puzzles where you turn things and unfortunately he was turned the wrong way. Nasty trying to find his way into the site with that spike down. It's a 2v3 situation, but it could, numbers can shift very rapidly as we see Infiltrator making his way in now. Nasty down. Smoke oh, out, he got stuck on the wall. Got stuck going around the corner. Nate coming out from Fair. It's going to displace him just a little bit, force him off of the spike, doing a little bit of damage. Fair springing around the corner, taking down one, oh. almost getting the second, but Flair taking down Fair, and it's gonna be Winthrop's first round of this half, keeping them alive in this game. 
How is the Saint right now? I'll be sweating a little bit. Like, oh god, <laughs> did we really throw this? I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be hard for them to come back. They don't have the economy. Look at the weapons they have to buy. A couple Guardians with light armor. Because even though they won the round, they've been losing so many before that. It's gonna be hard for them to afford anything too good in Saints. Yet again, gonna be all out. Bang there. No ultimates though left. Four side of the Saints, they try and use it that round to win it. And uh, it didn't work out for them with that Cypher ultimate. So. Uh, on this attack now, it looks like they're going to be going towards that A side again. They're going to have the spike in hand this time, so maybe playing a bit more aggressively here. See what Infiltrator, though, can do on a defense here. There will be a swing here. Fair has to be careful here. I don't think they have any idea. Infiltrator is here. Fair does find the opening pick. Can he find the second one? No, Infiltrator will find the trade. Now all the Saints are going to come in and swing. Nice swing there. Tello finds the headshot. Saints have the 4v3 advantage. Beautiful swing. That really could have just very easily gone Winthrop's way, but the way they rotated into that angle, uh, they, the way they swung in just made it really difficult to do anything about it. Chillin' is going to get into a gunfight with Jerk, getting out of the crossfire there, no longer wanting to take that uh, shot through the wall damage. Now we're seeing right there. Winthrop slowing down to a crawl here. Their brakes are firmly pressed. Same with the Saints. Parking brakes are up now. Hazard lights are on. They are not going anywhere. They need to actually change a tire here, it feels like. They're, they're so stuck in place, but all of a sudden, they're hitting into high gear, speeding down the lane, getting to the site. Nasi is a casualty of this joyride, and so is Truth. Tillo going to take down one. Instinct taking down another. Tillo's finally down. It's a 1v1 situation. Teleporta teleportation over to the spike that has been left in this alleyway and now you're in a very scary situation if you are on Winthrop but same for the Saints there's only two entrances here two exits which way is my opponent gonna go oh. they're both going the same way right now oh. but no jerk is gonna get the first shot on that quick draw really couldn't have done that more cinematically it really was a uh, cowboy movie meet at high noon me at the clock towers as soon as it goes at 12 draw <laughs> and there you go. The 1v1 goes to the way of Winthrop. Two rounds in a row now when Saints are on the match point. So Saints having a hard time closing this one out, but they still have uh, quite a good buy. Three rounds in a row. They were very, very rich. On the flip side, Infiltrator on that Neon only has the... the <laughs> the stinger, so has to be you know, careful here. Can't go too aggressive. Like he's been for the rest of the game. Saints looking to go for a B attack here. Only the cipher really defending uh, this one. Can the Saints push in quickly here? They're going to be taking their time, so they won't have too much room to work with. But here comes the Rays ultimate. We're going to be flying in on the Rays around the corner. Finds the opening pick onto Jerk. That does get taken down to one HP. But Ace is going to find the other pick. Flair does take down Fair, who was on one HP. Real truth doesn't spot out. Moves does get taken down. 3v2 scenario, but the plant is down. That's crucial. Breach going to be able to get so much value here. Tillo is trying to stay alive. Finds the shots around the corner. Can he find the pick here onto the Sova? Yes, he does. Cello finds one. Well, now it's a 2v1 scenario for the Saints, and they have the spike down. It's up to Nash. He will tap there. Does have the Sova dart throwing it up there. Will it find anything? He's gonna just choose to push through here, and the headshot comes through from Instinct. Saints gonna take the first map 13 to 8. Again, the, so much these advantage. micro plays, these last second decisions, Many. split second decision making skills that the Saints have on keeping themselves in the round when it can so easily slip away. Again, I feel is what separates the wheat from the chaff. The low skill teams from the high skill teams, the Saints from the Winthrops? Shots fired, potentially, but still, I think the Saints earned that round there. They earned that game for sure. And again, those coordinated plays, those swings, those uh, decisions, like I said, they saw that dart going up. Neither of them decided to stray too much. Immediately take it out, go down, take down the guy, win the round. All those little plays. The way the deadlock has been using those walls, those slows, I feel like it's been so crippling to Winthrop's offensive and their defensive, honestly. Yeah. It's just been such a hard game to play if you're on the side of Winthrop. Definitely don't blame them for losing this game one, but we saw them showing signs of life for sure, showing a lot of resistance, and I think they can definitely put up a strong fight in the next game. Yeah, that was a great map from both teams, but Saints do find themselves victorious. They do take the 1-0 lead, and they're going to be looking to take the series 2-0. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this.
ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We are here in game two, St. Clair Saints versus Winthrop University. And the first game was really, I don't want to say a shocker, because oh, let's be real, the Saints have a reputation <laughs> for good. winning very comfortably. But still, it was really close the first half. Second half, the Saints just kind of ran away with the game. Winthrop definitely coming back after their five-round loss streak and uh, started winning some rounds. But the Saints ultimately came out on top. Here we are on Haven, however. And uh, whether or not this is going to be a safe Haven for Winthrop or a Bastion of Doom... We're going to have to wait and see as Saints are looking to 2-0 this series. Winthrop University wanting to put one on the board. 30 seconds before the game one gets underway, Theo. What are your thoughts going into this one? Yeah, Saints are going to be on the attack first on this map. And this map is pretty uh, good for attackers. Three bomb sites to pick and choose at. So let's see if they can keep up the momentum from last game on the attack and win the pistol round, which has been very, very good to them so far in this series. You can see a bit of dif different team comps again. Uh, Winthrop and St. Clair have a different uh, reads maybe on the meta here as Yoru going to be picked up by the Saints alongside a Viper and it's going to be the Jet, uh, the duelist of choice here for Winthrop as they're going to be walking up mid aggressively but Chillin is going to find the opening pick on to Jerk. Infiltrator looking for something on this Jet, doesn't find anything, yes he does, picks up Truth, the trade from Tillo does not come out as he's missing some shots here and he will get stunned up still, will be to stay alive now Nashi trying to hold down this side on the low some but Saints playing it very slow as they have this spike deep in uh, in their spawn. He was just so close on every one of those shots, but was just never able to find the mark. Infiltrator taking some damage here. Tillo finally finding the shot he needed to get that kill. Now picking up the gun, because I like that skin as well. Coming through now, Flair using that flash. Oh, coming flash. through, he's going to allow an opening for his team. But Fair, with oh, perfect eyesight, not getting flashed or blinded at all. Coming to get the revenge kills. Two to one, instinct planting now. Moves coming up from behind, but not for long as Fair and the perfect angle going to take him down. Three Three kills for fair in round one. Maybe we're gonna see a gecko situation. Get some alls coming out early for this Yoru and Saints are already on a hot start. Fair with a very good start here on this duelist. Had a great first map and having a great second map to start off. Buying a couple of vandals here are the Saints. And it's gonna be Winthrop this time opting to not go for anything risky. They will go for the full save. A couple sheriffs and three classics kind of conceding this round mm. before it even starts. Saints should be kind of able to walk in wherever they want and take this round with relative ease. They're gonna to choose to play the long game here. They will look to push up A, but sitting in their spawn for this start of the round moves, gonna look for a headshot there. Won't find anything as Saints have really made their mind up on what they want to do yet. Mm. They could pick and choose A, B, or C. A couple of them sitting on A, waiting for Winthrop to make an overcommitment, but it looks like Winthrop are playing very, very passively as well. Even with these weaker weapons, they're just waiting for Saints to make a mistake. But Saints are taking their time, right making here. sure no mistake happens. And it looks like they're going to be looking to push into either B or that C side again. Saints using the old trick of on a multiple choice test. If you don't know the answers, always pick C. They're going to find their way over to that site with the Yoru clone as well. Fair coming from behind. Seems that Fair is just very comfortable on Haven, just really outperforming themselves in the last oh. game here. A little bit of a visual Cold bug. Animation. We don't mind that one there. Flair over on mid, trying to get his way over to C site, but not going to be able to do so very comfortably. All the smokes, Util getting committed from the Saints with that Viper pick. Love me some Viper gameplay. Dashing in, dashing out of that. Cl oh my god, Fair, what are you? you doing this is a little too much no finding another <laughs> four kills for fair in this round one shy of an ace teammate probably stole the kill too just to make it a little bit more of a bitter taste in the mouth but saints they are just comfortably on top here, 2-0. Winthrop University, of course, finally having some guns, finally having some money to spend in this next round here. But Saints, again, just showing they have so much map awareness, utility usage is on point, and Winthrop yeah. University is just really struggling to find their footing on any of these sites, which is quite troubling considering they're on defense and they're starting on the sites. Yeah. Saints feel like they're starting on them instead. And it's going to be Fair instantly using that ultimate. This Jet does have the Operator. Let's see how Fair decides to play this one. I don't think he checked onto yes. the Omen. Around the corner, Wood looks to just take down this Jet, uh, this jet, but the support is there from the rest of the team. Fair going way too aggressive all by himself. But Saints, in the meantime, should be able to take control of this A site. 
Maybe they can find a couple picks here to swing this round. I think Tillo's in quite a rough spot there, but the Jet did leave that uh, sight line, so the Operator will still be on C, actually, which gives the Saints plenty of room to work with, but Nashi is going to take down Chill in a very, very easy kill there. He's saying forced to push up here to maybe find something does get taken down as St. Clair are dropping like flies. Truth tries to get onto his side, trying to get the plant down, maybe get some extra credits. We'll get it down. We'll go down a clean five for OAs, four Winthrops. Saints do get the spike, but don't get the bonus. Absolutely. Saints, yeah, I feel like their offense was just split up and segmented there. They weren't able to find their way onto the site comfortably. They lost members before they were able to execute their entry strategy, and that's how Winthrop was able to kind of just whittle them down and shut down that push. Saints now recognizing that they're not going to be able to walk all over Winthrop on Haven here. They are feeling a bit of bite from that round Lost seeing Tillo not only having uh, not having any money really to work with, just able to pick up a sheriff and Winthrop very comfortable with their uh, treasury of credits here. Operator on Infiltrator, things are about to get dangerous. Yeah, and Saints gonna look to walk up here, but Infiltrator is there with the Operator. Ready to swing here. this corner of the Viper wall though. It's not quite a good location, so this jet not gonna find anything. I'm surprised Saints are playing this passive. Surprised they haven't looked for anything maybe up B here, but mm. they are going towards the mid of the map now very very slowly. Tillo will drone out at the middle of uh, the site here. Nothing found on that B site. Let's see if Saints choose to move quickly onto this one. It is a pretty easy site to retake, but I feel like if the Saints play well enough. They should be able to hold on to this one. Moves having a great camera onto this seaside makes it so hard for the Saints to walk in there without giving away their location. Looks like A is going to be the bomb site they go for. Only one member here, Infiltrator, does take down Pillow up mid. And now the Saints are in. The Ooh. trades come out. Instinct finds one. Finds a second on one HP, I believe he is. Three. Three. We're able to stay alive. Now it's a 3v3, but Nashi takes down Fair. The spike is down as well. 3v2, Truth has to be careful. Does get taken down to one HP as well. Nashi doing so much work on this Sova. Instinct looking to find the trade. Doesn't find the shot. And now on the flank is the Cypher. It's going to be disastrous here for the Saints as soon as the swing comes through. Through. Truth falls down, and so does Instinct. The round goes over yet again to Winthrop University. They just did not have the HP to work with there, even so. They were just getting flanked so well. Winthrop University able to defuse the spike yet again, and the Saints really need to find a strategy. Yeah, I think the Saints are just playing a little bit too passively here. They should be trying to hit these sites a little bit quicker, considering there's three sites. You will have a numbers advantage no matter where you decide to go. They've been playing this passive way, waiting for someone from Winthrop to push up this A long, but nobody from Winthrop seems to budge, and the Saints just kind of uh, don't have an idea what to do after the rotates through C were good earlier into the game, but now that this operator is picked up and the rest of the weaponry is here for Winthrop, St. Clair are gonna have to turn things around quickly. Yeah, and it looks like they're opting to play over on uh, maybe B, another B push again, find their way into garage. Um, but right now, infantry holding down mid with the operator. Not gonna commit any committing utils over on mid to get themselves up. The Saints are pushing hard into B. They're no longer playing slowly. They want to get in there. They want to get in there messily. Bear waiting on that one side of the wall. Hoping to catch anybody who wants to go for an aggressive play. Tillo creeping over to A site with the spike in hand too from Winthrop going over to beat him. Now, Viper Wall is still up. Oh, fair, finding uh, a bullet to the head from Moobs through a wall as well. Really good pick in the middle lane. Seeing that drone flying over into A, seeing you spot anybody, see the top of the head and see the Soba on the site, firmly planted. Instinct is gonna get taken down. Nasty with the three Spike kill, down. taking down Tail of four kill now for Nasty. Oh, we got our own, <laughs> we got our own fair on the side of Winthrop University, returning the favor, making things look easy. Three to two now, Winthrop University leading strongly over St. Clair College. Yeah, Nasty gonna have that ultimate alongside moves here on those characters big ultimates on those characters so definitely gonna be hard for the saints to push in quickly here and yet again the saints just can't find anything on the offense three rounds in a row here 
for Winthrop on a map that's generally <coughs> attack side favorite. So definitely Thank some you. panic bat buttons going off for St. Clair. Now they're going to bring back a few rounds in a row here and take back the control of this game. They're going to be playing this passive <laughs> attack yet again, sitting in the spawn, waiting for someone from Winthrop to move up a little bit too much, but it looks like the A push will be coming through. They're very close to a couple ultimates of their own, but Nashi will spot out everyone with this drone here. Has that ultimate. Let's see if the Saints can push out the Sova quickly before the ultimate comes through. And it looks like Saints going to completely abort that one and go back into spawn. Yeah, they're going to be rotating right back. They saw something over on A site that they did not like, and they are turning tail, going somewhere where they feel welcomed. That's going to be in the mid. See if they can get a smoke up just to make this push a little bit easier. Clones coming up as well, pushing into Garage. Everything's nice and clear for the Saints to find themselves Here. over on C site. But they still have three left behind, two stragglers over on A, one still sitting mid, watching for any rotations. And they're a little bit fragmented, but it's an organized chaos, so to speak. They know what they're doing and why they're trying to do it, waiting for any sign to give them the go-ahead to make a hard left. committal push. And it looks like that push is about to be made over on the C site as we see the spike holder getting ready to run for the life. It is completely open. Their patience is paid off. They're going to meet no resistance on the C site as we're seeing the omen on Winthrop University rotating and the plant is going down a little too little too late. Jerk is seeing the error in his ways and is going right back down the alley with the Saints have the full site. Nobody has gone down yet, and we're seeing a full five-man retake as Instinct comes through, spotting out Jerk, but he's going to get taken down. Getting a little too confident, chilling not too far behind. He's going to be able to take him down. Dash coming through. Fair is going to get taken out. Not able to find a single kill. The Sova also is going to get committed. Shrewd is going to take out Infiltrate. That's going to be a very valuable asset down. But Rose is the last one standing for the Saints, not able to find any valuable picks to keep the spike safe, and that's going to be another classical defuse coming up from Winthrop University. The Saints really struggling now. Yeah, I mean, Winthrop are just taking everything they want here. Four rounds in a row for them here, and they're going to have uh, the Saints in a bit of a sticky situation now. The save will be coming through from the Saints, I think, unless they really force up some weapons, and there's going to be a timeout starting right now. Saints want to talk over what they want to do in this little one-minute timeout they have. And Daniel, what do you think they need to do to turn things around here? Well, first, I think they need to start talking. I didn't see a single lip move right there, but maybe they're getting yelled at by Coach Seth, former player, now stepping to the role of head coach. Maybe they're just sitting down listening to what he has to say, his analysis of the map so far. But what I think the Saints need to do is similar to what you say. I'm going to ride the coattails off of your excellent genius level analysis, okay? I think the Saints need to speed up their offense a little bit. We were talking about how fast you need to be at the highest level of Valorant here and we saw their patience pay off just a little bit um, in that last round but they weren't able to really seal the deal and bring that round to a close because we saw Winthrop University were playing so fast they just made their way onto the site dashing in literally dashing yeah. through fair at one point that jet and there's too many things to shoot at uh, they're not able to perfectly coordinate this, uh, their plays the Saints do really thrive in those more controlled um, planned coordinated circumstances but you can't always have that yeah I mean Valorant a game of chaos can't always have what you want but now you can see it looks like they will be going for a bit of a force they have a stinger a judge two sheriffs and another stinger so let's see if saints can get anything done on this attack i would love to see them go for a mid push especially on a round like this when you don't have too much to work with those close range weapons can be pretty good on this b site let's see what the saints decide to do they are moving up this mid area and towards this b site from the look of things there comes out the stun, and Infantry are going to find a very easy kill onto Inkstick. This Sova ult is massive, finds one fair, did find a kill before he did get taken down, but a lot of ultimates committed here from Winthrop, even though they do have a big numbers advantage. Jerk oh going to find a nice shot there onto Chill and Tillo. We'll just look to get this plan down, but Jerk finding yet another one. This should be another easy round going over to Winthrop as Nashi picks up Tillo, and Winthrop go 5-0. Yeah, that was messy. That was very, very messy. The Saints really kind of got called out there, countered, and just taken down without much of a resistance. Uh, that's, uh, that 
that omen jerk on the side of Winthrop University just sitting there ready for the rotation, immediately taking them out of the skies on the side of the Saints as they tried to make a way in. Chillin was not ready for that one. And uh, as the game goes on here, we're about five rounds left uh, in this first half. And the Saints have only found the first two, the pistol and the follow-up. So they really need to try to figure out this offensive pressure that they want to try to mount because not only will it help them get some rounds here, but it'll also help them get in the heads of Winthrop and understand their offensive plays coming through. Fair finally getting a very valuable pickoff. Taking down Infiltrator, not going to be able to get that off shot. Holding down this little bunker, but Anas is going to take him down. We're going to see the Killjoy coming out. This is committal from the Saints, and they're doing their best to protect it. We're going to see Winthrop on the back of A, sitting in heaven and also sitting one behind in the doors. Going to escape just before the Killjoy pops, and Smoke's going to come up. This is going to be completely opened up site now for the Saints. They have a little bit of time to pour in before Winthrop University is going to be able to close the damned gates. Oh, the one Cypher playing. But Cypher is going to go for the plant. Moves going to take down Instinct in the meantime. We're going to see the Viper Pit committed as well. The Saints are really going all out for this round here. But Moves finding his way into the pit, taking down Tillo. That's a huge pickoff, but Rose is going to take a flare off of the back of the uh, Viper Pit. Truth just coasting in and out here. Jerk finally entering into the pit, seeing that turret. Can I actually He's be blocked, blocked by it? By it. He has to jump over. We're seeing a little bit of platform stealth play here. Metal Gear Solid. And we're going to see whether or not Jerk is going to be able to find anything valuable here. Just spraying through the pit. It's going to finally come down, and Truth is going to take him down as soon as visibility is regained. That's going to be the Saints finding one on the board. It cost them a lot, but hey, got them the results. Hey, they needed their round bad, and they are able to stop the bleed. They also get an operator on their side now. Fair gonna have that one infiltrator, gonna buy another one yet again. So it's still a lot of a Valorant to play, but down 5-3 Saints need these rounds on the offense. Need to string a few more together here to get themselves back into this map. And they're gonna be leaving the spike in the spawn again. Going to go for a default, look for some very, very early shots. Fair hoping someone peeks their infiltrator though, playing very aggressive with this operator. Has a teammate backing up the jet here. Saints gonna might look for another mid push here, but they're all kind of just five stack here. Infiltrator looking for a pick, gets headshot, but survives on 29 HP. Saints almost had the golden pick up there to the start of the round, and it's gonna be Nashi taking down Instinct for the first kill of the round. The Saints haven't really moved at all this entire round, just sitting together, and they're just getting picked off left and right. Chillin' gonna go down as well. Saints need to find some picks back here, but they're just playing a little bit too slow here and getting pushed into their spawn by Winthrop. Yeah, they're getting forced back. The Saints are really just like a rapid flow of water being held down by a dam. But Truth is going to reach their boiling point, splash up in the face of Nasty and leave some dirty, dirty burns. Yeah. As now we're seeing Fair coming in, yeah. trying to infect the water, spotting out Infiltrator. Tillo ready for the response, pinging out. He's going to come out of the dimensional drift, but Flair is going to be behind. Didn't check all angles before he emerged from his safety. Flair now using all the util available. We're going to see some pings coming coming out from the, uh, the the Cypher, coming from behind now. Jerk is gonna take down Truth. Tillo falling shortly before from the hands of Flair. We're seeing six to three here. The Saints were playing so well, committed some multiple, but they still weren't able to cinch out the round. Winthrop University playing so well here. Saints are really struggling. They are floundering, splashing around in the water, trying to find anything to hold on to, but they are truly just getting washed away by the waves. Yeah, absolutely. Saints just can't get anything going on these attacking rounds. Now forced to save again it's going to be Winthrop going into this half with a very very big lead to say the least unless the Saints can pull three rounds together here back to back to back which is a very very unlikely scenario it's going to be Winthrop having a great start to this map but they are up 6-3 they have a bunch of gold Saints leaving the spike and spawn yet again uh, it hasn't worked out too well for them, this style of play on this map, but they're going to continue to stick to what they know best. Infiltrator has a great angle here. He will find the opening pick on to fair. No trade comes out from the Saints as they don't know what to do here. There's going to be another pick coming out from Nash Nasi as Saints have the 3 5 scenario. Just trying to get one or two kills with these weaker weapons. Nasi going to book through to find his second of the round. Truth does find a pick onto Flare here. That's going to be something 
for the Saints, but it's still going to be so hard to win this one. Infiltrator does find that pick. And now in the 1v4 scenario, it's all up to Chillin'. Might find one around this corner. Yeah. But the sheriff finds it. We'll be looking for the second here. Chillin', can he find anything else? Only three more members from Winthrop, so it's very, too. very doable. All it takes is a left. couple of shots here. He's going to go around the corner. Can he find the operator? Does not find it. Infiltrator with the third kill of the round as Winthrop take the lead 7-3. Really done well by Winthrop. The Saints slowly started to try to find their footing, but once again, the stool was just kicked out from under him while they were trying to climb to the next level, not given a chance to really find themselves here. Winthrop doing such a good job of just Stopping all the momentum, the Saints, they are nearing the end of their offensive play here. And with just a couple of seconds going into this next round, already looking at the way the map is spread out, I get the feeling they want to play a little bit more aggressively than they have been in the past, but they could still be playing slowly as they just inch their way over into mid. They go into garage immediately. They already have Chillin waiting in the alleyway waiting to see. Drone is going to get taken down, but it's going to spot Chillin at the very least, or one of the Saints over in mid site. Tillo reaching through B, has a spike in hand, getting flashed. He's going to run to cover, but he's going to get forced back. The Util Tillo retreating, 45 HP, spike in hand. At least the spike didn't go down. Saints now rotating over to A. They don't want to be in that hot seat in the middle of no man's land that is middle over to B site. But as they rotate over to A, Winthrop is surely going to get the hint with that camera there, especially will the Saints recognize Dart's going to get spotted, taken down, but they think they know where he is. They're going to take down moves as he tries to retreat. They're going to find him. Utah's coming through, dashing oh, in. Infiltrator good. getting stuck on the box, taking down Fair with the double. Now it's just Jerk, last man standing for Winthrop, finding Fair, sitting on the site, returning the headshot favor. Spike, Spike is going to be planted. Jerk now sitting in heaven. Smoke is going to come out. I think they could tell by the angle where he was, and they are already pre-firing it. He's going to teleport down, but Shruth takes him out. The Truth Cell set you free from your lost streak saints bringing it back now seven to four before we make it into the swap and the saints uh got nothing left to hold back they have three ultimates winthrop holding on to all the money that they have right now they're gonna just fully spend it try to make the most of this half if they can bring it to seven to five even though it felt really one-sided realistically that's not a bad score to work with Absolutely, if they can get this to 7-5, to five, they will be more than happy because it could have been way worse than that. But if Winthrop take this one, Saints are going to be looking at a very, very uphill a battle here. Infiltrator yet again on this A site. Going to be sitting with the Operator, doesn't find any picks just yet. It's fair with the Operator. Going to be pushing way up on this Yoru, maybe looking for a pick. Onto the Sova, no, nothing yet. Tilla will drone this out. Will he be able to spot the Sova in the corner? Yes, he had the Ulta Omen in the corner, actually. The ultimate comes through from Nasty here. Won't find the kill, but a good amount of damage to the Yoru has been dealt. Chilling now, looking to make his way up. Hey, there's the Operator and decides to re peek it. Does go down. Infiltrator now, gonna pull out the knives. Nasty is gonna get taken down to 65 HP, but no kills come to just hit Infiltrator on this. Operator is just finding everything needed as Noobs finds Inksley. Now it's Saints in a 1v5 as Infiltrator finds the third of the round. It's gonna be all up to Tillo in the scenario, and it looks like the first half will be ending at 8 4 in the favor of Winthrop. Yeah, it looks to be the case, and I feel like if you're ever certain about any situation, this would be the one to be certain, and Tillo is one hell of a player, but not one hell of a player enough to beat down the odds that were super insurmountable there. Infiltrator with the almost ace, and almost in my eyes is good enough. I'm gonna call that an honorary ace for the uh, Sky player here, or Jet, rather. Kind of mix them up. You got one Sky, one Jet, one of them's got Cloud Elements. You know, you know they like to be confusing, but in any case, we're seeing Winthrop now, eight to four, as we head into the second half here. And uh, with three sites, I'd imagine this map is attacker favored, but realistically, from what I've been told, I feel like I've, I don't remember genuinely, but I feel like you get kind of the impression that it's defender sided. And that's my optimism speaking. <laughs> from that first Saints. half? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm optimistically saying that this is a defensive sided round uh, map, and I hope the Saints are going to be able to prove me right here as they are getting started on their defense on Haven here. 
sitting comfortably in B, anxiously awaiting the approach from Winthrop, and they made their presence known over on C. It's going to make the job nice and easy for the Saints as they start pouring over, but they might be able to rotate, but can they land their shots? Realistically, that's what's going to set you apart between a victory and a loss in the pistol round. Chillin' and Fair finding two right off the bat. Player taking down Fair, and we're going to see some more trades coming through. The site is breached, but not by the people you want to see. It's the Saints just running on comfortably. Tillo finding one. It's a team ace coming out for St. Clair College. And like I mentioned, it's like one of those old stealth games, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. I remember playing that back in the good old days, but still so well coordinated. And here you go, Saints showing signs of life once again. Great round for the Saints. Basically as perfect of a start as you can get a teammates, everyone getting in on the action. That's gonna be a nice little morale boost for them. And they've won every single pistol round in this series. Now let's see if they can keep the momentum going fair. Gonna be buying that outlaw. And not something we've seen too much in this series so far, but there's gonna be no shields on the side of Winthrop. I think Saints know that, so fair will have a perfect weapon for the scenarios. It looks like Winthrop, they tried to go fast last round, didn't work out too well for them. As now they look to push up mid, maybe looking for a B infiltration here. As they're gonna come through Winston sitting up here, ready for any foes to cross into his path. The only gonna be the first one. The down goes jerk. The TP is out for Mason. He's able to stay alive. Great play there. Nice little ghost shots from Tillo four in a row through the smoke. And Chun finds a couple. Now it's a 5v1. Nasty in a very, very hard position here. Does get taken Ooh. down. 10 straight kills for the Saints with Winthrop not getting an answer as they take two rounds in a row and put themselves back into this game. Gotta say, that was an ice cold shot from Chillin. Really sends tingles up your spine. Bone chilling kills. That's enough of the cold jokes, but still. Hey, the guy can shoot. That's why he's up here wearing green on the stage. With 10 seconds before we get into this next round. Saints looking very nice on the economy. Winthrop, you're seeing a lot of zeros, but not in the sense that you have a lot of zeros all following one after the other. It's more like a lot of spread out zeros all across the board. So not a lot of money to work with on the side of Winthrop. This would be a very big round for the Saints to win. It would really cripple the economy for Winthrop and basically guarantee them to take this eight to eight after this round. But that's a lot of talk. The Saints still have to execute it. And based off of this play so far from Winthrop, I don't think it's going to be too easy. The Saints are really spread out, and Winthrop are playing very cautiously. They have the spike back. They're just trying to get some sight lines open, just removing the armor from the doors, doing everything they can, Make, making wall bangs just all a little bit more easy. Tillo with the drone, spotting out the cypher in mid, knows at least exactly the positions of one of the members of Winthrop, but at this point already, you never know where the guy is gonna be. Jerk now sitting on the back of A, getting ready for the push. Spike picked up and they're gonna make the rotation over to C. Not gonna play B, they know it's dangerous. They don't wanna make any risky plays. Tillo also coming around that corner, spotting oh. out Jerk. Not gonna be able to find that kill. They traded with each other. He's gonna leave a little bit of delf in the health oh, bar. Shroot's finding a beautiful shot to Infiltrator, running away to see with their life moves, taking down Fair as he rotates around the map. Saints meeting Winthrop over on C site. 20 seconds remaining, the drone not spotting anything out, but ooh! Spraying it down, Truth is going to get taken down as spraying on that site. Chilling on the site, however. Spotting one, but no jerk going to find him running through the smoke. Saints had a lot of opportunity to shut down that offense, but dropped it every single time there. Instinct, the last man standing for the Saints, seeing if he can get in going through the garage step by step, one by one. And now the smoke is up, making this all the oh, more difficult. If that smoke. Here. But it doesn't matter, as you see Nasty from behind. That smoke is really what saved them there. Instinct literally would have gotten the 3K if that smoke didn't come up. He was in the perfect spot, perfect place. And just before he was able to spot them out, the smoke comes out. Even if he was there just a split second before, he would have known where they were and would have known he could have taken that shot. But perfectly timed smoke, keeping Winthrop in that round. Now, now we're looking at nine to six. The gap is slightly wider than it was before, but not insurmountable as the same Saints are still having the economic advantage. Winthrop now are able to be a little bit more comfortable. That last one was do or die for them, and they definitely did. Yeah, I mean, the Saints would have had the bonus there and put themselves right back into this game, but now they are down three rounds. They do have an operator on that Yoru, but it's going to be Winthrop slowly pushing up 
to this A and mid. Not going too quickly now, as that didn't work out yeah. too well for them, but they're going to look to get in to yeah. this A site. They have a killjoy turret ready there. Insane in a beautiful position. Easy kill for him there, but infiltrate on the flip side finds Truth to enter into the site. And does he have any idea till he's here? 10 HP gets taken down. The shot won't come through till using the Phantom there. One of the downsides doesn't get the one shot headshot. Still a, load, a low amount of HP on this uh, Jet Saints. Should be able to find this something here. The plan's coming down and it's gonna get down. Now the Saints need to play retake in a 4v4. It's gonna be pretty hard to do so considering they have an operator on one of their agents and they need to push through. Infiltrator sitting close to the wall here. Instant has no armor, throws out the smokes, throws out everything. Flare takes down, chill on the Saints. Just need to go a bit quicker here. They're wasting so much time. Tillo dove down as well as now it's a 2v4 scenario for the Saints and looks like they're gonna opt to save this round. They know they're on their last legs here and they need these weapons. They want to get themselves back in the map, but it's gonna be another round for Winthrop as they go at 10-6. Yeah, running for their lives right now, but it's a relay race of death as they're getting met in the corridor by Nasty, who already has his gun out while they're holding their knives, jumping around. He's going to take down Fair, but at the very least, it seems to be that Chillin's going to be able to survive. No, sorry, Instinct is actually going to get taken down, not given the chance to hold onto the guns. And the Saints went for the retreat, but still got picked off regardless. 10 to 16 now. This is a familiar scoreline for me, but it, before we saw it, the Saints were the ones with this one. Now we're seeing Winthrop running away with this game. Saints on the economic back foot, forced to hold onto their sheriffs and languish in despair, seeing if they can try to find any kind of approach that will give them an advantage. Stacking up on A, 1B, 1C seems to be the play that's going to keep them in this game. They got the Viper wall up and seconds it off, but Fair already taken down by Infiltrator with the beautiful shots coming out onto A site. Flare and Moon taking down two more. Exactly Tillo at least taking down that deadly Infiltrator on the jet, and they're pushing into B site, going for the plant. This is a diff difficult site to retake because it's so open. They know it. That's why they're going for it. Saints now trying to do for a pincer attack. Chillin taking on the drone. Oh, so close. Close to getting that beautiful off shot. Moves with a 3k, close out the round 11 to 6. Saints really feeling the heat now as they're getting closer and closer to losing this game too after they were so comfortable on their game one victory. And they're going to be having another time out here. So let's see what they decide to talk about in this one. A rough second half here as well. So down 11-6, there's going to be a lot to talk about here. One round away basically from losing because their economy is not looking too good. They need to play mm -hmm. basically perfect Valorant for the rest of this map to pick this one up. And it's going to be hard for them to do such great play from Winthrop on this map. Definitely giving the Saints a run for their money and looking to take it to the third game. Yeah, just based off the looks off of their faces uh, when we got <laughs> to them for just a second, it's not looking good. But they're still in the game. It's 11-6. to 6. It's not 13-6 to 6 yet. So they still yeah. have games to be played. They call it time for a reason. They know that they can win this one. It's still possible. We're talking about one of the best Valorant teams in the world, definitely in the nation, okay? So they are very capable of stealing away this victory. They just need to figure out how and figuring out what the gaps in their offense and their defense have been so far. I'm no fool to say that <laughs> I know what the answer might be, but hopefully as we get back into this game, we're going to be able to see what kind of ideas they might have come up with during that short stint of uh, respite. But as we're looking at this, just objectively speaking, are the numbers telling us anything about this game? I mean, just looking at the kills, 20, 15, 15 on the side of Winthrop versus 12, 10, 10. It seems that the kills are a lot more stacked up on Winthrop versus the Saints. Maybe he's trying to look for um, the star play. Players, you know, pass to LeBron, but this time you're passing bullets, right? Oh, oh my God. He listened to Five my HP. request. Fair finding a beautiful shot onto Infiltrator and just escaping barely with their life. Tilla with the drone flying up into that little cabin and Fair can immediately get the return kill onto Jerk Instinct. So it looks like that timeout worked. I guess yeah, Coach crazy. Sepp just said, do you guys want your scholarships <laughs> or not? And that was enough to scare them, get them playing for their lives and moves just stuck between a rock and a hard place, stuck between a black Black cloud and a green cloud. Neither of them are very inviting to your average operative. But here, he is just playing for the spike, waiting for it. But there's eyes on it, I believe, as well. No, that's his eyes on it with those cameras and seeing if he can at least pick it up. So I have retrieved the spike. even though he's in a very disadvantaged state, it would at least be possible to maybe find something. That's what he's thinking. 
and hopefully you can at least get some pickoffs as well. 30 seconds left before the Saints steal this game away, but as you mentioned with B-Sight, pre-firing and the alarm bot is going to give away his position. Instinct could be the only one to go down here, but not even Instinct is going to take him down. Flawless victory for the Saints. 11-7 feels a lot less scary than 12-6. I'll tell you that true. much. So this Saints bring them way, bringing, bringing themselves back into this game one round at a time. Yeah, they have to think about it that way. One round at a time. You can't get all four rounds right away. So have to grind this one out. All three rounds they've won this half have been flawless. So when they're on, they're on. But mm. more often than not, Winthrop has just had their number. And let's see what Winthrop decides to pull off on the attack here. The ultimate in the advantage of St. Clair. Let's see if they can use those to maybe flip the result on its head. There's going to be the Sobo ult coming out early from Winthrop. They will find nothing with that. The Sobo ult answer from Tillo oh, wow. will find attack onto one. Instinct's going to find one. Find Ooh. Instinct, find a third, fourth, and one spray down. Can he find the ace here? Fair is going to find that one away, but Instinct just with one mag took out four and gives Saints yet another quick round. Now with some Dragon Ball Z stuff, they're just shooting beams at each other from across the map and some innocent civilians were caught in I don't know, the innocent, fray. Oh man, I could hear them cheering from outside. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a soundproof room and I can still hear them yelling. It's remarkable how invested these players get into this game and I definitely don't blame them, but still a remarkable round. Instinct almost getting an ace there and what's definitely for sure certain after that round is the Saints are wanting this more than anything. They want to go home. They want to just wrap up this series. They don't want to have to go to a map three. Are you crazy? It's a school night. It's a school night. So they're trying to finish this off, but Winthrop University, they don't care. They want to take this all the way, but can they? True take that oh. one. Chillin! Chillin with a double through the smoke as well. True to find the wall bang headshot. Seth, what are you feeding your squad? <laughs> what just happened? I mean, Winthrop is just completely falling apart and the Saints are on their A game. Every single 50-50 engagement has gone the Saints way and now they put themselves in a great position to put themselves back into this uh, map. They're down 11-9. to nine. They have the money. Winthrop doesn't have too much and Saints one round at a time has been working wonders for them so far. I know what it is. You ever nope. see Space Jam? Yes. Remember when they went to the locker room? Bugs Bunny? Yeah. Had a special bottle. You know what was in that bottle? Mike's special <laughs> juice. Okay, I think Seth's special juice. Seth's special juice. Realistically, there's been two timeouts. One timeout they got stomped after. Second timeout, they're winning. Oh. What could it be? I don't know, but gonna miss that shot there. Maybe Mike's stuff is wearing off <laughs> here. But uh, you know, you don't want to count your chickens before oh. they hatch. But Truth is counting the kills before they complete, as that was as clean as you could get. Now the Saints are looking to be activated, looking to be alive. And Winthrop University trying to crawl around like sewer rats, tunneling through into the A site potentially. But they're getting stuck on some cheese, getting distracted over in the A site. Wanted to play a little bit more carefully, seeing the rotations now. The Saints have full awareness. Their eyes are open, and including the third one, they can see their souls shifting around the map, and they are home owned in completely focused on the A site. Two left over on C just to be safe with the dart coming out. Recon providing the scan. Not going to reach Tillo. Oh, and nice he's going to find the headshot in response. Fair jumping out with the off shot. Not going to find it. But Tillo, Instinct are going to do the dirty work for him. Fair almost getting that kill. But Tillo, a revenge kill onto this teammate taking them down. And looking at this game, you would not believe that the Saints were on a huge loss streak just prior. But here they are with almost the longest win streak we've seen in this second half here, or in this game, only to beat out by the five win streak Winthrop had in the first half. Saints looking to tie this up. If they win this, it's going to be 11-11. It's anybody's game, Theo. It's anybody's game. They have all the money in the world they could want. They have all the ultimates they would want. They have the Viper ult to hold down any site. The Omen ult for the flank if needed. So let's see how Saints side plays one. It looks like Winthrop is going to rush into this uh, B site. And I think it's a great play. They only have the Stinger, so they don't mind the up-close engagement. Instinct will survive. Truth finds opening pick. Instinct has to watch out. There's going to be all the kills going to the Saints. As it's a clean, flawless yet again. Winthrop have completely fallen apart here. Saints 
just have a, their number. And Winthrop's not calling any timeouts. St. Clair doing a great, great job of just continuing to push up, put on the pressure. And this is kind of the biggest round of Saints can yeah, take this one. 100%. The map is going to be definitely in their favor. But if they lose this one, it's still going to be a coin flip. We're going to go to overtime or not. And we have yeah. four ultimates online for the Saints. Oh, my God. Listen, Theo, me and Valorant, we have a complicated relationship. Yeah. But even if I don't like playing the game, I'm definitely an appreciator of the competitive nature that these teams are able to draw out of each other. And here we are in an intense situation, as you mentioned here. This is basically the deciding round of potentially the entire game. If the Saints win this one, they're as good as solidified to taking this series 2-0. But with that drone spotting out Truth and the Yuto coming out, this is a great opening, but they're not going to take it. They're going to be able to play they're still going to be playing really slow here. Viper they want to force commit. Uh, and the Viper ult is going to get committed on C. Yeah, they're oh, forced they're back. But they're pushing. Instinct oh. going to go down. This is huge. Infiltrator going to find fair in response. Defender Killjoy is up. However, the Saints defending it with their lives, keeping them off of B and C. They're retreating over to A. But Tillo also rotating. He's going to get there first. There's He's got his gun fight. out. He's ready. If he can find a single pick off, this would be huge. But not going to find it. Nasty's going to take him down before he has a chance to let loose a single shot. Truth is going to find moves at the very least. This is a 2v4 situation. The Saints are rotating over to A site, but they're not looking very good right now. They're kind of doubling up, tag teaming this, finding their way into the site. Truth going up to heaven. Seeing one, not going to take him down. Nasty's is going to take down Truth. Chilling, the last man standing, going to go down. It's 12 to 11 here. Anybody's game. Are we going to go to an overtime or not, ladies and gentlemen? It is anybody's guess. Both of these teams are playing on fire, looking at the track records. There's nothing you can use to predict. It's a five win streak versus a five win streak. It is a tiebreaker to a tiebreaker 12 to 11 all the money is spread around it doesn't even matter who is going to take this game i don't have the slightest clue but i can see chilling through this window and he looks locked in more than i've ever seen anybody in my life so i think the saints might have it i'm not sure i mean it's full buys again fair does have an operator so saints will have a bit of dance on a site let's see if fair can find any pick really does get stunned up the silver old the silver drone will spot him out as well there goes out the clone won't get shot at just yet. The flash comes through as well. And now, has Fair put himself in a bit of a sticky situation? Finds the first pick, gets out as well. It's a great start to the round for the Saints. His jerk does get taken down. Spike still in spawn. So it's going to be a default from Winthrop. They did go on the aggressive last round, kind of just rushing into B and then rotating over to A. This round, they're choosing to play it slow and it's definitely paying off the for the Saints at this moment. Moves and Instinct sitting shoulder to shoulder through the smoke. Is anyone going to pick anything fair? Great position here on this A side. As soon as Infiltrator decides to just go for the swing here, mm -hmm. should get his head taken off there. A oh! nice shot from Fair. Beautiful reaction time. He has that ultimate yeah, yeah, if know. he wants to use it, but moves well. Find Instinct. The spike is still in spawn of Winthrop. However, there's a Euro ultimate. He's going to check out this B side. Make sure nothing too much is going on here. He's gone into the back here. Will throw out a flash. Picked up the Vandal. Does not want the Operator and will play his life. The spike does go down. So Saints have 40 seconds to put on the pressure here. The shots come through. Fair gets headshot. Does get taken down. Nasty will get out. Moves. Finds a pick onto Chillin as well. 28 HP in the back of the spawn. And Nasty finds one. Truth finds the pick. But it's going to be up to Truth in the 1v2 scenario here. Is he able to find the pick here? Finds one. Has, is flashed out. The no! The flare will find the kill there. And map 2 goes over to Winthrop University. Yeah, very tough situation to be in. Realistically, it was just down to the wire truly, and they were chewing at it, chewing, 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 trying to get into the nitty gritty parts on the inside, the yummy part of the wire. That's the sweet stuff. And they found it. Winthrop University were able to just dismantle the Saints eventually in that last round. It was still so close right up until the very end, but Saints not able to seal the deal. We're going to a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, they're going to be able to get enough sleep for their classes tomorrow, but they can't think about that right now. They got got to focus fully on the task that's at hand. Yeah, absolutely. That was a map. Saints a couple rounds away from taking the whole series. Now we're going to be starting back at 0-0. Zero, zero. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be uh, a mental reset needed here. This is the first map they've dropped all season. So hopefully they can stay locked in. But we're going to stay locked in. So we're going to throw it to a quick, a quick break. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with map 3.
Hello everybody, welcome back. We are just about to get into Game 3 Saints against Winthrop University. It's tied up by one apiece, a very, very close second map that went 13-9 to in the favor of Winthrop Ooh. as it's going to be a all-important Game 3. Now Saints need to take this one to take the victory home today. Yeah, Saints are looking definitely to take this game, but not just to win, okay? I feel like the Saints have something they want to prove here. It's... Basically a new roster here, like I mentioned before. You got Chillin, who's stepping up from Academy from last year. You have Instinct and Tilla returning. And you have Truth and Fair. Three players who are new to the varsity team on the side of the Saints and Instinct and Tillo as your vets with a new coach as well. There's so much new about this team and they're coming off of a huge success last year and all the years before. So a lot to prove coming out from this squad and obviously a lot to win as well. We're here in the Nace Super Conference. The Saints name has always been synonymous with victory in the realm, in the world of Valorant. And I know they don't want that changing anytime soon, but Winthrop obviously doesn't want to lose either. And they are showing that in full force with how they've been playing this entire series. And I think this game three will be deciding the fates of a lot of people. Absolutely. And we can take a look at the team competitions. It's been different all series on uh, this uh, side of Winthrop. They're going to have the Breach, the Omen, the Gecko, Cypher, and the Neon on side of St. Clair. Viper, Fade, Omen, Killjoy, and Raze. So they're going uh, for Raze as their duel. And Winthrop loving that uh, infiltrator is going to be on that neon. It's going to be very, very strong. It's been a strong. It didn't work out for them in the first map, but it's going to be good for them on this map with all the rotations possible. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Theo. I'm tired I too. I forgot Neon's <laughs> name. I was going to call her Zeri. But <laughs> Close enough, honestly. Uh, same thing. Literally the same thing. Yeah. But as we're there. coming slowly into this next game here, into this next round, a lot of things are going to be put on the table here. But this table may end up getting flipped as this round starts. As we see Fair breaching first one to make contact into the unknown. This no man's land is now going to be turned into a fertile farm for the Saints to plant the seeds of victory. <laughs> <laughs> and now the Saints are finally pushing up into nowhere, actually. They're retreating. They are fully retreating. They are getting the hell out of there, going over to sea uh -oh. as the Saints just leaving Instinct behind to hold up the smoke. So show some signs of resistance so they don't fully commit over to A, but or, or commit over to C, but a little too a little too late on that as the rotations are already coming up from Winthrop. Fair coming up the oh. stairs. Moves gonna take him down with the faster fire rate on that classic oh, infiltrator. Good. Gonna commit some util, getting ready to line up some shots. Blinded, however, forces it into safety. A lot of low HP on the side of the Saints, and they're getting whittled down by the util. The spike is planted at the very least, and we're gonna see Instinct take down Nasty. At the very least, one more to go down is the last. Last man standing for the Saints. Truth already taken out. Winthrop able to take out this round. It was a bit of a mess, but it got cleaned up at the end of the day. Winthrop able to take round one. Saints really, really want to try to find an answer. They don't want to go down that depth of despair doom ride that they went down in that last game. Yeah, this is the first pistol round of the series that the Saints do drop, so could be a bit of a mental boom coming out from them for, uh, after losing that last game you know one loss and uh you can fall apart quickly you'd be surprised how quickly things crumble but our saints one thing they are it is mentally resilient so hopefully they can show that here jerk in a very aggressive position here on this omen looks for the shots finds a body shot but Flair has uh, the bat uh, there chillin does go down saints just don't have the weaponry to really fight winthrop up here they're gonna be forced out of this a choke. The spike is down as well, which is the most terrifying part here. And it's gonna be so hard for the Saints to find anything moves. We'll find one on to fair as the uh, Saints just have nowhere to go. They're kind of trapped in their spawn and they have a minute to walk out these doors. I think this round, even though with a minute left, there's a, a little bit of hope, but not too much left. As the pushes come through, Infiltrator gonna find a couple. And now it's gonna be a five, 1v5. Scenario for Truth here does get taken down. Flawless round for Winthrop University as they take the 2-0 lead. 
coming into this Winthrop University 2-0 over the Saints. But hey, we saw this last round, and we remember who won Winthrop, yeah. ending up uh, kind of getting that early momentum Saints had in that game and kind of flipping it on its head, taking a huge win streak after this. So maybe the Saints are going to be able to recapture that magic. They are on offense after all. They have the initiative to make things happen. So all it takes is a little bit of ingenuity, innovation, and intuition to really run away with the game. But they leave the spike planted back, playing slow, a bit of a default push we're seeing here. Infiltrator taking a huge shot, 87 HP. Forced to retreat just a little bit. Spike is still sitting down right there. They're not going to pick it up just yet. Seeing that breach number five over here for Winthrop University holding out his angle. Nasty going to be the first to find contact. Going to be the first to fall. Sliding coming through. Infiltrator is going to take down Fair. A little bit of too speedy of a target to be able to get those shots you need to find. Now Instinct, knowing of the threat of the Neon, getting ready for it, opting to play a little bit more passively, using the smoke up to provide some cover for a teammate. Fast lane and dash committed, but Instinct doesn't care. Find the one that's oh, immediately fighting a double nice now. Wall bang, taking down Flare. You don't have to be respecting their plays. Moves taking down Truth, caught off guard. Tillo using. Uh, the feeds util to just provide a little bit more comfort for this play coming out of St. Clair College. Plant is coming down, moves on the high ground. Find a oh! killer, but he doesn't care. Stops the plant. Oh, just spider senses were tingling. Gonna immediately stand up, take the shot, go back to business, getting the plant now. Finally, Tillo in the smoke, finding so Jerk. Cool. Emerging through the darkness, three men standing on the side of St. Clair College, two to one now, Winthrop University. Uh-oh. <laughs> Winthrop tried to find the bonus there. We're not able to do so, but that's around the Saints definitely should be taking. So uh, they will be able to get one on the board eventually now. This is where they need to get the ball rolling. On the attack, they have the upper hand here, three sides to choose from. And uh, every time they've gone B-side, they've had a good chance in the round. That round, they go there, they plant it, and just hold on for dear life. Let's see what they decide to do on the attack here. Winthrop has been decently aggressive on the defense, looking for some early swings, but there will be nothing of that here. Fair, gonna start walking up the Viper Wall is there. Let's see how the same side to play this one. Satchel from Fair does come through, makes a little bit of space, but use those two Satchels not for too much from the look of things as it's just going to be going up main fair gonna throw that boom bot it's gonna spot out someone can they find a shot we're gonna open up tree does get stunned up swing comes through from nasty but nothing is there it's not one more peek there from fair almost finds it nasty almost finds one as well jerk does get taken now a little bit with a minute left saints haven't got too much going in this round they don't have a lot going for them, but at least they still have a lot of guys going with them. Not losing a single member yet. Saints still able to make those rotational plays, and the spin is going to find them over onto the C site. Not going to be a lot of resistance. Smoke's going to go up, forcing that Gecko to play a little bit slower than he would like to. Flash is still going to come out, though, and the goop to slow them down, forcing the Saints to play slow, and in fact, forcing them to rotate, actually. They're going to go over to B. Tillo clearing the site just a little bit, taking down one, almost two, but the util in hand not going to allow him to do that. He's going to come one, two now. Three kills for Tillo, opening up the site for his team. Just easy as pie. The Saints are able to find that plant. Infiltrator easily taking down Chillin, too. At least making it look easy. Dash coming through, oh. fighting two. Oh, man. <laughs> that was scary. It was close. Tillo with the 4K, though. We like that. That's a great round for the Saints. Tillo with the 4K leading his team to victory. Now the Saints have won two in a row. It's going to be a save round coming up from Winthrop University. So Saints, after a rough start to the half, do manage to get the ball rolling a little bit. And if they can just get onto these sites, it seems like Winthrop has a pretty hard time with retaking these. So mm. I like the way the Saints have changed up maybe their strategy a little bit, playing a bit more on the aggressive side. But now, looks like they're going to play a full default. They have the weapon advantage and they know that. Infiltrator is just going to go for a hero play here, trying to find something, but I don't know how well this one's going to work. Instant find. Jerk. That's a nice start to the round. Nasty won't find anything. Infiltrator still trying to find something. Chillin' takes down Flare in the meantime. And 
That just looks like an ultimate waste to the Saints. Have the 5v3 advantage. Looking for the shots there. Tillo does not find the headshot, but still, it's a great start to the round for the Saints as they can pick wherever they want to go and go through with ease. I got a little ahead of myself there. I really thought Tillo had that shot, but <laughs> not quite. Saints are making a very similar play that they did in the last round. Uh, Instinct is going to take down Nasty as they find their way over to C site once again. It's just going to be Infiltrator waiting for them at that doorway. And with this Neon sitting at 47 HP, not going to be able to offer the most resistance. But with the trigger discipline allowing him to find at least one, Chillin' going to get the revenge kill. Moves is going to fall to Truth in the back line. Saints looking 3 to 2 right now. If they can get to 5 without dropping a single round, then the prophecy shall be complete in my eyes. And they would be basically recreating that last game, but on a different map. Yeah, I mean, the Saints need to keep the streak going here. Ultimate's ready for both sides, and it's going to be important for the Saints to try and win this one. I feel like they can just get onto a site, it doesn't matter which one, and get the Viper ult down. They have looked so good on this attack when they are able to control that space, but it's going to be a full B defense from Winthrop. I think Saints wanted to go up mid here. Let's see how that works out for them. The Fade looks for something. The Raze is able to get out with their life, but it's going to be infiltrated. Find a couple chill, find a couple back. So it's a two for two start to the round, but the flanks are coming through from Winthrop University. The Saints have any idea. Chillin is able to find his third of the round. Now the Saints going to rotate over to the seaside. I wonder if they're going to use this Viper to ensure this round. It's a huge, huge round for them. They're going to choose to take it slow. Only one member of Winthrop on this side smoke is going to come through, but Nasty's already in this site. Let's see if Nasty can find a pick on the entry here. Finds the headshot on to Chillin. That's probably the best target he could have found. Finds one on to Truth as well. Uh, it's going to be Nasty making God's work here. The stun comes through. Uh, grenade will come through as well. Nasty looking for the headshot there. Does not find it. The big plant comes through. No shots landed just yet. The flank is there from Jerk though. It's going to be 3-3 from Winthrop after a great solo play there. The prophecy was wrong. We are now entering into uncharted territory. Nobody knows how this game can possibly go anywhere. Actually, wait, no, I'm pretty sure this is how the first game yeah, started. Three to three? Pretty similar. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> Saints won that one anyway, so I'm they a fan did. of it anyways. Saints now are looking to be hitting a bit of a wall. Literally here. They were struggling to find their way into that site and uh, struggle no more is their new policy as they're getting lined up to go for a straight shot over to A maybe. They already have the wall up. Tillo holding on using that Odin to just spray down through that wall. Truth, I think actually already finding some splash damage here. The smoke is going to keep them all a little bit more comfortable in the situation, but it's going to dissipate eventually. And I think the Saints have already laid out their exit strategy as Tillo is already at C site and and they're already on just the Cypher in the back line with the Boom Bot rolling through, forcing him to play even further back. And if they saw the Bullet Tracers there, then maybe they already know exactly where he is. But Tillo taking a lot of damage. Viper Pit is going to be committed. The Saints really want this round. They don't want to let it go to waste. So Saints with a full stack, full five-man stack sitting on C site. They're using the Viper's Pit and forcing Winthrop University to get aggressive. Trading out Ultimates. They already have Thrash. They already have the Fade all committed. Omen using the TP as well. Everybody's just fully committing for this gameplay. Chillin' finding one move is gonna get the trade kill. Tillo spraying down with his teammates, trying to prevent them from pushing too comfortably, but the fire is coming back. You can't spray us without taking some heat in return. Seeing the breach util coming into play. Moves is finding one. Tillo taking down two alongside Fair. It's all the bodies hitting the ground, and the defuse coming through. Do they have enough time? Yeah. Yes, they do. No, they, no, they don't. don't. Saints no, they don't. <laughs> taking that round and everybody dies! Everybody dies. Saints get up by 0 0.012 there. Great job from them. They're able to take down the round so, so close. So much happening at once, but in the midst of the chaos, Saints do take the round, and that is absolutely massive for them. Now you can see the money on the side of Winthrop is not there. Now the Saints need to string together some few rounds, get themselves back into this one, and try and take a good lead, because it is attack favored. They want to take as many rounds here as possible. But they're just struggling a little bit against the wind drops and defense. You see Truth yet again. We'll go for that spray. Finds a bit of damage. Uh, moves will get hit up as well. As the Infiltrator doesn't find a pick onto Tillo there. It's a great start for the Saints. I think that was the only weapon 
that Winthrop will to afford. And as he does pick that one up and gets out, but still a nice first pick for the Saints here. Yeah, hey, that was that was awesome. I just got to hey, that round was <laughs> awesome. Uh, but we're coming back to reality here. While this round is not as incredible as the last one was, it's still pretty interesting. Still, only one oh. down. Well, now two, one for one, both teams. But oh now two, Tillo getting the triple kill. Oh. He's on fire this game. Fair with the rocket fuse. Shooter. Just a little awkward now. He was really getting excited to have some some stuff go on, but now he's just kind of holding the, the bag here, as one may say. But here Weapon we here. have Winthrop making their way over to A. Oops, Oops. spotting that out, taking it out immediately. But they know he's here, Truth with the Odin in hand. Want to start spraying? Yes, you do. <laughs> Taking him out immediately. Bear also finding Flair on the other side of the map. These two kill each other a lot, I'm noticing. And uh, here we are. Five to three, Sacred College. Go. Great round from the Saints. Pretty simple. They do lose one. Use a raise ultimate that maybe they didn't need to, but want to ensure you win that round. And they did exactly that. Now up 5-3. They have all the money they want. Infiltrator doesn't isn't buying a weapon, but does have that Neon ultimate. It's going to be crucial here. Let's see if this Neon can find some picks and the Odin's gonna come through from Jerk. Truth whipping out the Odin and now it looks like Winthrop will follow suit with that choice of weaponry. It looks like Saints yet again gonna play this classic default setup, not going to push in anywhere as Jerk gonna look to find the wall bank and he does find it onto Truth. Truth get his number called there and did not step up to the plate. The wall bangs are very nice from Winthrop University here. Infiltrator though does not have a weapon, only has that ultimate raid to go fair. Gonna be looking for an entry pick here. Can the Saints find anything here? They're gonna be opening up this door and maybe work their way towards the C site, but not committing too many members just yet. Saints haven't been down a member too often on this attack, so let's see how they decide to play this one. The camera from the Cypher does get taken down, but they know the Saints are here. But you can see a couple member from the Saints rotating over towards that Acer as well, but the spike is the one that matters. It will be rotated towards the C side, but there are a couple members Boxes from Winthrop down. on the C side, and the other two on, over on A are rotating over as well, so it's gonna be hard for the Saints to push through here. Flare, Flare finds one, F Smoke comes through. Can they find a return kill? Yes, they do, but he finds one, but gets taken down from the side by noobs. There is Infiltrator finding one as well, and now it's a 1v4 scenario for Chillin. Nearly impossible to win this one, 20 seconds left. I think he might look to hold on to the gun here, but Infiltrator gonna find that kill. Four to five, Winthrop University able to string these rounds back. And on this map, I think they're doing good for themselves on this defensive side. Yeah, they're playing fantastically right now. Like you mentioned, attacker side is, from my knowledge at the very least, and the Saints really struggling to establish dominance. Obviously here, they're leading, but you want to have a little bit more of a lead than one point, uh, especially with the level of play they are more than capable of. But struggling against Winthrop, both of these teams are really bringing out the best from each other. Chillin' getting a nice lineup ready to go as the team starts committing util already. They want to make their way over to A site, and it looks like they're not playing around this time. It's not going to be fake. It's not going to be a slow push. No distractions. They're going fully for it. And hey, they left A site basically open again, just the Cypher holding it down. Reese is going to make his way over. And Nasi ready for anything. Moves sitting on the back line still. But all these smokes, all these lines, all these clouds coming up from the Viper is just such a distraction. So hard to play. Fully focused. The attacker kill joy is going down. Nasi finding Tillo and Instinct. Get that oh. one, but three coming out in return what? from the Saints. Flair taking down one on the retreat. The attack of Killjoy is going to go down, but it's not going to find any detains. Fair coming around the corner, knowing where Nasi is, oh, finding the nice pickoff. A critical kill, turning it into a fake plant. Flair just waiting around that corner and getting a greedy, getting impatient. Trues making him pay for it, getting that plant for the little bit of extra credit there. Boom. You take it, gets you're it. happy. Gets it, and the Saints. Rand didn't start too well, down two, but in the span of a second, they find three pickbacks immediately, and mm -hmm. they're gonna be buying up again. Can't afford full, full buy. Yes, they can. A couple of light shields coming out, and on the side of Winthrop, they do have a Stinger on board, so Saints have the weapon advantage here. They have the Fade Ultimate. Would love to see them go quickly, maybe onto Seaside with the Fade Ultimate. It's pretty easy to ult out and just take over, but 
see what they decide to do here. Looks like they are going to be pushing up this A site, which they love so much, but they have to be careful as the Infiltrator is very, very close here. Saints really stacked up here, all four members on top of one another. The swings come through, Fair finds the opening to pick. Let's see how the Saints can walk through. Chillin picks up the second pick off the pressure. Jerk finds one, Chillin finds the trade. So Saints now up a couple members, should get onto the site. The plan should be relatively free. And yet again, this round they should hold on to and take a 7-4 lead. Yeah, Saints looking so comfortable here, pushing into this A site. Makes you wish they started doing this sooner. C is just so tempting though. It's hard to resist pushing C. I don't know what it is, but they are able to resist the urge and push for A instead. Player gonna throw out that flash, gonna get taken down, or actually just find its natural conclusion over into that uh, corridor as Tillo makes his way over, immediately getting taken down. Uh, Thrash is actually gonna get committed. Looking for something here. Chillin's gonna take down move immediately. Flair, not sure. If, I don't think he did find the detain, I'm pretty sure, but not gonna be able to make anything good come from it as Fair takes him down. Once again, Fair taking yeah. out Flair yeah. to basically cinch out the round. And here we are, four to seven. Saints would be really comfortable if they took this eight to four. Yeah, they have the full buy available. Five Vandals should be coming on board for them. And they have a couple ultimates. They still have that Fate ultimate, I think. This is round, they're gonna use it. Winthrop can't afford the luxury of the Vandals. Three Guardians and a couple Stingers is all they have to their names. Saints, see how they decide to push this one. It looks like Winthrop are setting up for a defense up mid here. The Saints aren't too worried about that one. Swing's gonna come through, Truth. Gonna go for the swing, 1v3 as Nasi. It's gonna find a couple super quick picks. That's a disastrous start for the Saints here. Here comes the Breach Hold and the Raze Hold. Fair can't find anything with that one. And now Saints, 1v5 scenario for Chillin. How quickly it all fell apart. But he can find everyone around this corner here. Finds a second, can't find any more. First half is gonna end. It's gonna be Saints in the lead 7-5, but definitely not how they want to end the half in that round. That could have been devastating if Chillin was able to find just one or two more pickups there, but I said it before, and I wasn't just coping when I said it. Seven to five is a lot more comfortable, or so it's a lot more comfortable for the one that's five than eight to four is. Yes. So Winthrop able to take this one just a little bit closer as we make it into this next half here. Saints with the advantage, but it's not as comfortable as you're hoping to be coming off of the attacking side on Lotus. Now they have to deal with all of the shenanigans, rotations, this and that, gimmicks here, gimmicks there, gimmicks everywhere, all the stress that comes with it. But if there's anything that I know for sure is these guys want this win really badly. So they're gonna push through all of that despite it all and try their best oh. to come on top. But uh, sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you're not able to come out there. Fair gonna go down first blood going to Winthrop University. Instinct's gonna be the follow-up kill on that, but Truth taking down moves in response. Taylor from behind oh, getting cool. three almost, taking down two before he's finally taken down a rabbit dog. A beast, he is chilling in the smoke. Taking down Infiltrator, just continuing to spray on his retreat just in case there are any stragglers, but the spike is getting planted on a site. Saints are aware, I hope. 44, he, he's dangerously low, but the Saints definitely can still lose this round. They just have to make sure they play coordinated, use their numbers to their advantage, but don't play too slow now. You still have a lot of things to do to that spike before you can say that you win the round. So coming out. In the back. Oh, we uh -oh. got hit by the nade. Taking him down. Flash comes through, but Chillin gets the kill. Still very well played from Winthrop. Almost taking this round. St. Clair College 5-8 to eight now against Winthrop. And this game is getting closer and closer to the scary, scary zone where you hit the double digits. Yeah, and Saints should be taking the 9-5 leaders well here. They have the full buys, or the half buys. They're going to be able to buy some good weapons here. The side of Winthrop. They're going to choose to go for the force here. If Saints can win this round, they put themselves in the prime position to win this map. Winthrop, this is kind of their all or nothing round. They're gonna buy up the five stingers. Heavy armor, so the outlaw from Fair won't be too effective here in Saints are buying some weapons of their own, so right let's there. see how this round goes. I think we might just see a B rush coming out from Winthrop here. That's exactly what it's going to be. Infiltrator looking for something here, chilling. On the defense will spray through that wall with the 
Spectre won't find anything as it looks like Winthrop now gonna try and make their way over to this seaside but not all the members were able to make it through that door there now it's gonna be all five members on the seaside and Instinct is telling his team I need backup immediately he's gonna get pushed finds one Rose Truth finds the second Ooh. Truth gonna find one more as Instinct goes down Truth makes the swing chill and finds Flair now it's a 4 one for the Saints it's only Nasty left alive tries all he can on this breach but get oh, taken down wow. by Truth third kill of the round huge round for the Saints as Winthrop's gamble does not pay off he calls for backup like he said help 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 and Truth was there to answer the call of duty I mean to call, call answer duty. the answer the Valorant right <laughs> and uh, he was there offered the backup just enough time for the rest of the boys to get there and save the day Saints one away from 10 to 5 and like you said it was a critical round to win because this would basically give them a path not to victory but near victory and near yeah. victory is often enough to get you victory and Saints looking to be comfortable with their arsenal meanwhile Winthrop really picking out of the bargain bin to try to fight against the army that St. Clair College is mounting Infiltrator doing the best to work with what they got here trying to sprint onto the scene one of the beasts catches him though and he's going to be in a little bit of trouble fair is going to get flashed up forced to retreat temporarily and all of Windock university and then some are making their way over to a site while the saints are still straggling back one on b one on c again don't blame them but it's just the name of the game is flare pushed onto the site chillin takes down one in response two now as he goes down shortly after spike is planted the saints can feel comfortable committing the rest of the guys over till forced to wait for reinforcements oh. but oh jerk's not gonna wait for them to before Thrifty. he takes down Tillo. This could be a thrifty, like you said, 3-0. It's Truth on the high ground here. Instinct coming through the corridor. Truth finds one. That's going to allow just enough hesitation, but oh. no. Nasi with beautiful oh, discipline. Feet. And also going to get committed, forcing it back, but almost finding him still. 21 oh. HP. Oh. Truth, oh. Go. <laughs> Truth fighting through the fire and the flame does not care what you do to him. Taking down all that opposed the Saints. Taking us now 10 to 5. We're still quite a ways away way from a victory but that was a closer. huge play that was a huge play from truth it would have been a thrifty would have been nine six and all the money is back mm. in Winthrop's pockets now Saints just need to shut them down one or two mo more times in a row and they will have this one in the back pocket truth yet again in the clutch scenario just finding everything that's needed has the killjoy ultimate already if they need to play retake again Winthrop has done a pretty good job of getting on these sites but they just are not able to hold on a Saint pressure and a relentless attack is working out for them well but this is not a good start for the saints as fair falls down first yet again just caught out a position and infiltrator is going to find a second pick as it looks like winthrop have finally put on their winning boots going to get three picks for infiltrator here it's a great start to the round going to be hard for the saints to win this one that's a nice little wall there allows the rest of the team to get out truth does find one chillin finds one as well the saints put themselves in a position to win this one but chillin does get taken down 1v3 for truth it's gonna be really hard to clutch this one but we've seen it happen before yeah we saw it happen one round before to be exact door is gonna go down they know exactly where he's at at the very least but still a lot of work to be done to take him out he's a wild beast you want to put him down almost there but flair finds truth now i wanted to say that the saints had to win this round to guarantee themselves to go to a nice 12 to 6 but you know we saw when throp almost win the round prior so honestly i don't even feel like economy matters anymore i feel like it's just this is a scrappy game we have to accept that anything can happen on any round so saints obviously wanted to win that round it would have been a big round regardless but still they're so far away from any sort of guarantee any sort of comfort or safety they really do just have to keep going round by round until it's at 13. Yeah. And I think that's what they're looking for in approach here. Rather, never oh, mind. They Look are. over on C. They're running this down. They are so over this game. They don't care anymore. I take back everything I just said. These guys are savage. Oh. Chill and taking down Infiltrator with the ultimate. Whoa. Okay. That's huge. They're going to see the Gecko all in response. But instinct oh, and truth. Fixed. The Saints are just mowing them down. Everybody's getting a piece of the action here. Flair going to go for that plant with little buddy. But the Saints are surrounding them. Nasa's going to take on truth at least to alleviate a little bit of that pressure. But it's 
Kill 4v2, the thing just circling long. around like piranhas, smelling blood in the water. Fair taking down Nasty. It's just one man left. Flair hoping he could use an SOS Flair signal for help from anybody, but no one can answer the call. It's just him, and he is doing his best to answer it. Still Fair coming around that corner, peeking, swinging, there but Tillo with the assist from his squad. He's going to take him down. We're looking at a 6 to 11 now. St. Clair College, one round away from Ash Boys. Yeah, great. Team Ace, woo! Great play from the Saints. Absolutely amazing round. They did not have the full buy that Winthrop had, and now Winthrop are put in quite the position. They lose this round. It is all over. This the last. On paper. On paper. <laughs> this is true. Anything is possible, but Saints haven't allowed a thrifty. I don't think this entire, entire series. So almost did. Almost did, but almost doesn't count in true. Valorant. So unless we're talking about aces. Unless we're talking about aces. But it's still Saints. Still a lot of work to do. Can't get too overconfident. You know, this is the point in the match where they could maybe get a bit too excited, too ahead of themselves and make some maybe silly mistakes here. Fair hasn't had the best of luck here on this A side, getting picked off round and round again and yet again. Just Damn. can't find anything here, but the rest of the Saints have been putting uh, the work in to keep this uh, game afloat. It's going to be a full-on sprint from Winthrop here onto this A-side. Infiltrator is going to take this heavy position and Moves going to take down Pillow. Again, Infiltrator throws down that concussion. It's a beautiful concussion. Will side through. Doesn't find any kills yet, but 5v3 for Winthrop. Truth finds one on the flank. Winfiltrator gonna look for the swing here. Can't find anything but a nice flank coming out from the Cypher moves. Uh -oh. Should be able to find a couple. Ooh. There's one, there's the second, and there's attackers won the round. Almost a clean ace. One does fall, but a great round from Winthrop as they keep themselves in this map. Yeah, Saints now, 7 to 11. And uh, I don't think they're comfortable with it. Chillum with a nice score line of 21 to 12, with a two following it back. And uh, we're looking at a timeout now. The Saints want to. Get some more of Mike's special stuff. Secret <laughs> stuff? What's special or se uh, secret? I guess it doesn't really secret matter. Stuff. Secret, secret stuff. Secret stuff. And uh, I think if they can get at least one more dose of that, it only it didn't kick in until the second timeout. So to be fair, um, first timeout, we're in untreaded territory. We don't know what's going to happen here. But after that second timeout, that's when we're going to really see them come alive if it gets to that point. But with this first one, Again, maybe they're just looking to refocus, like you said, not get too ahead of themselves. Yeah. We've seen Fair die on that A site, uh, not A site, that A like uh, long, just yeah. immediately. What, like five rounds in a row? I feel like it's I not. It's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. But hey, if they talk hey. about that in this uh, timeout, and Fair just maybe relax a little bit, doesn't peak that A site. I think Saints, even when it's happened, they've won these rounds. So I think if uh, mm. they can play a little bit more passive on this defense. Uh, uh, Winthrop are playing really aggressively. They're sprinting yeah. into the site with this Neon. They don't really have another option. So if Saints can play a little bit more passive, I think they have a very, very good shot at taking this map. Yeah, and like you said, honestly, I feel like the, uh, well, we're picking on him a little bit. I do feel like Fair going into that A site definitely serves a purpose. It's very information gathering, right and there. it's a feast or famine play. It's either they pick him off immediately or they don't. Now you have to deal with the Rays sitting in the middle of your split up uh, opposition or offense comp and if he goes down the boot that's information so they're playing it well they're playing it strong and the saints already coming out swinging with that first very important pick off taking down moves that's a big piece of information now just completely out of the game and fair still alive so played it passively we're already on a new timeline here who knows what's gonna happen Nate could have been massive but now he's gonna look for the shots here jump shot from jerk hits the fatal comes out from tello as saints look to play the retake tello should be fighting to kill your chill does get taken down however so now it's a 3-3 scenario and gonna TP into the back and he's able to get into tree. Infiltrator does take down Tillow. What a flag! Oh! Yeah, he finds one, finds a second, one oh, HP on Nasty. Now it's a 1v1 one. scenario. Truth just needs one bullet to take out this breach and the breach knows exactly where Truth is coming from. Truth needs to be a little bit more patient yes! here. Finds the kill, puts the Saints on match point. Yet another clutch from Truth as now Saints are up 12-7 and Nasty just need boy. one more round to take the series home. One more round is all they need, but one more round is also all they need to completely crumble and fall apart. True. If they lose this round, it would be really not. 
impossible for sure, but looking at the eco <laughs> economic side of things here, they would be kind of struggling here. Winthrop, they have nothing left to lose anymore. Yeah. They are playing 100% from this point on. They're going to be using their ults, they're going to be using the weapons, spending every credit that they have to win every single round. It's just ha the nature of it. The Saints still have to play that guessing game, that balancing act, and that can be a detriment at times when you know that you still have the potential to lose oh, they get the ability. Pick. But Chillin still getting a strong start, taking out moves once again. That is a huge piece of information gathering gone out of the round. And as they are sprinting, infiltrator infiltrating, doing as the name says, but the Killjoy and the ultimate coming out from the breach, forcing the Saints back. But the Killjoy is still standing strong. Can they come up and take they're it out? Through. No, they don't care. They're all, they're, gonna, they're all gonna get caught by it. They are detained. Oh no, they took it down. But they all got detained, I think. I think they're all detained. Yes, they four. can't move four people oh. detained. It's just gonna be free kills for the Saints. And you couldn't oh. draw it up better on the defense. They should take out this Neon. Just a second. There it is. That's all she wrote. A four man detain all the Kindred wow. ultimate. And that is all she wrote. Saints, take this series 2 1. Take the third map 13 to 7 and move to 2 0 in the season. Beautiful play from the Saints. That Killjoy ultimate, literally perfect. Couldn't have been better executed. You don't see a four man uh, Killjoy every day, but. We got to see one here, and I can't exactly say I'm surprised. It's the Saints after all. Winthrop, beautifully game, played. Yeah. Honestly, that was an incredible match, really pushing the Saints with their new roster to their limits. But Saints kind of proving the point. They are here, and they don't care what anyone has to say. They're still on top of the Valorant game for yep. now. It's a great start to the season for the Saints. They're going to look to keep their winning ways going, and they did so today. So congratulations to them. That was a great series, but that's going to be all she wrote mm -hmm. for us. Thank you to our sponsors. We have Alienware, Subway, Tim Hortons, St. Clair Alumni Association, and the St. Clair SRC. Thank you to everyone in the back who made the stream possible. It takes a lot of work for these streams and these later times. More you, know, you know. It's not too easy. So... Thank you, everyone back there, for making this possible. I've been Theo, the Holy Juan, joined by Daniil today. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll be seeing you tomorrow for our grand opening of the Nexus at noontime with Fitzy mm -hmm. here. So don't, don't miss that. That's going to be exciting. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good night.